Wait, no, that's Jurassic Park. We need a theme song. I actually watched that last night. Why do we need a Netflix. theme song? We do. Because why not? Do we have an opening Let's title the card in which to play it over? Yeah, you need to make like an sure. opening title card. What? Is it, we could get one. How? <laughs> with money. How else do you get them? Well, not even with money. Influence? With uh, favors. Six. Yeah. Who, money who, power. Who do you have that will do make an animation like that? Assuming I'm sure I can find someone that will make an animation. Anyway, and, <coughs> wait. What is your job now? You have to find. It's the someone. entire internet. <laughs> the entire internet. Does someone just want to make a quick animation that we can play at the beginning and we'll just have a quick little bit of music over the top? It's not like 10, 15 seconds. I've already tried that, Darren. The entire I know what you're looking for. I've also looked there. Well, the entire internet. Yeah. But, you know, like... It is yeah. so bad yeah. that One there's no, like... One person could do it. Yeah. Fiverr. Or, or the entire like internet. Or they could do it with their friends and then give it to us. We are streaming at the moment. Though. Yeah. So, um... Yes. Welcome. Welcome along. Intros are important. To um, <laughs> like we haven't even succeeded in making a still image, which it, is our character art. We haven't Correct. even succeeded in making a successful <laughs> D and stream yet. <laughs> but we're getting there. Oh, we're getting <laughs> some views on. Depends YouTube. on your definition of are successful. We? I've noticed like they are like between well, it's below ten, but it's like between <laughs> two to five or six. People are watching the videos. Well, on I YouTube. think so. Yeah. Wasn't like usually the first like twenty just. <laughs> Typically, bots checking the video stream. Well, it depends on how they count it because his files are like in more than an hour long. So, like, if a yeah, bot would, watches, would they be watching the whole thing? Hour, hour files. Hour. <laughs> I don't own the content. Time for okay, intro. <laughs> so, <clears throat> welcome to Accidental Heroes. Uh, if it's your first time and you enjoy the content, please hit follow. Uh, if you want to catch up, all the past episodes are on YouTube. Just follow the, from the link from Twitch below. And now, the recap. Hey all! So, the adventurers finally leave Durntail Pass and begin their slow trek towards the mines of Crack after unsuccessfully finding to haggle for fresh horses. The group opts to journey on the well-travelled roads southward towards Freeport before heading westward to their objective. Urbag manages to activate his uncle's gift, the magical tiny doors, and finds the furnished interior of a home within. A home that apparently belongs to one Cornelia Whitmore and is somehow connected to Urbag's friend, Smee the Dragon. A few typical trailers are met whilst on the roads, most notably some merchants selling animals. From which, Damal purchases a raven and a rat. Also, during the journey, Damal comes across the skeletal remains of someone in a cage suspended over a pond. Investigating further, they find the ghost of Hemdick Jadefeet, the unfortunate soul who lost his life there. His final request was that his remains be put to proper rest and buried. After doing so, they are rewarded with Hemdick's Jade Ring, a treasure that Damal keeps. Thank you. So, what? Uh, we awake about half a day's travel out of Freeport. It is the morning. What do you wish to do? I suggest we <coughs> quickly pack up and get right to Freeport so that we actually get our shit done. Yes. Well, hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. What if our viewers think that best breakfast isn't? Well, then they're in wrong. In 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 oh. Oh. Inca, Inca Greece, as a fellow gnome, as and as gnomes, gnomes would. like halflings, enjoy breakfast. But just one, not this fucking... Eat on the cart, stop packing. <laughs> <laughs> I Eat on it. the cart? Okay, yeah. fine, we can do that. We'll cook on the cart. These guys are driving. <laughs> Sounds good. Mm-hmm. How long is this trip? Half a day. Half a day to the city. Okay. Mm-hmm. May I ask the time frame by which we're speaking? What's a day? A day is like twenty four hours. Half a day, half a day of travel is about context. four hours. Usually yeah, it's about four hours. A day is four hours. Half uh, a day of travel. Time, what about well, in it, the it, game? No, like in reality, it's probably about four or five hours worth of travel. Okay. Cool. 
Would Damal be able to make poison in a sufficient time? She could attempt to do so. She would be on a moving vehicle, however, Mm. which would hinder the quality potentially or make the DC harder as it would be. What if she had. Darren, why am I green? Daryl. Sorry. You roll some dice Mm -hmm. and we'll see what happens. (laughs) What if she's got fantastic. Frisbee doesn't use a bow. The character is built for balance. (laughs) Instruments don't balance too well. So roll the dice. I have a DC. Yeah, that's what my character. Make sure she has boobs. I will tell you how effectively <laughs> that is. Just one. Just one boob. <laughs> one. one. I want to roll them on. 1d20. Or three. I'm just going to take a picture Nine. of what's happening. Plus. Plus. Oh, oh, I don't have access to the information. So it's that. Oh, that's um, boring. Just I cut and paste the green book. I will do Um... So, anything else? Anybody want to do anything else on the way? Yeah, I want. I no, I loaded up the card. I'm getting ready to the, leave. The current masterpiece that's going on <laughs> from Maybe the only art us. contributor to the stream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> terrible. Okay, okay, okay. So we are on the road now. Yeah. It's amazing. Is what it is. Yep. Yeah. 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 We have we have set off. Uh, okay. She's making poisons at the back of the cart. Um, I guess they're eating. No, we're cooking. The closer you okay, get to free, cooking. the closer you get to Freeport, the um, amount of travellers that you pass on the road going in different directions increases mm-hmm. as you are getting closer to a transport hub. Mm-hmm. Um, nobody really takes any attention away from you. You make it to Freeport. Yes. Uh, Ink, getting to Freeport, asks if you could take him to, um, <coughs> oh, his name, um, Bram Ironfowl's, well, who is he actually area? asking? He's asking the party, oh, what? to take him to Bram Ironfowl, um, as... He Do wants to name? have a conversation yes, with him. He's a, um, is that the Minotaur? No, he's a dwarf that <coughs> cheaters out of uh, a map. Oh. Yeah. He would like the party to seek justice on his behalf for the multiple breaches of the contract that he had with both you and with him. Wait, 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 wait. How? What? In what way? So <coughs> he breached the contract with the party yeah. by not paying you for getting the map. Yes. And he has breached the contract with Ink by lying about providing him with the true map and was going to sell him a counterfeit. Oh, it's a ditto. Right. Changeling? <laughs> um, wait, wait, wait who's so a changeling? I, I think it's a ditto oh. him because he's a shape, he's shape-shifting droid. Shape-shifting. <laughs> what? Nice. Okay, wait, wait, yes. wait. Okay, what? <laughs> I don't understand the logic right there. So is he asking? Is he, he asking us for him to seek retribution because of the the past contract with him? He's asking yeah. the party yes. to take him to Bram Ironfell, okay, so that he can have a conversation and get justice for the breaches in the contracts, <clears throat> as in the contracts that you signed are similar, I imagine, to what Bram Ironfell has signed. And those breaches require certain recompense to be made, and he would like you to make sure that that happens. So he just wants us to take him to Bram Ironfell. Wait, 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 that last thing. Make sure he gets justice. Does, is he asking us to beat the shit out of him? Demal would like to do asking something. for justice. Demal would like to do something. Justice at this point. being. She would like to engage Ink's uncle. Oh, I'm gonna go inside. Yeah. Is she engaging? Yeah, in I'm, I'm, I'm gonna follow suit there because I'm a little bit suspicious. Yeah, I'm this. suspicious as well. Engage and convert. Oh, okay, never mind. I got You're a pretty low. I low. got ten. Would you like to engage? Uh, hey, funny thing, I also got ten. Yes, uh, we got ten on inside. Is Ink actually trying to get us to beat up Bram? Hang from? on. Um, would Ink give permission for Demal? to use all of the skills and abilities she has available at her disposal to wipe out the threat. No. <laughs> he doesn't want laws breached. Okay. okay, okay. But he wants fair recompense for the contractual breaches. What does fair recompense look like to Ink? Uh, well, he pulls out a, a list of contracts that he has. Yes. He flips through them all. Mm-hmm. He finds the particular one in regards to Bram Ironfell. Yes. Yeah. Um, in which it states that if um, 
he doesn't meet the agreements, he is paid back in full the amount, plus a fine and penalty <coughs> payment of the same amount. Demal then requests our lawyer's intelligence. Yes, but the lawyer is also currently very confused. <laughs> <laughs> Demal suggests yeah. that perhaps Ink is looking for monetary recompense. I agree with that, mm. but does Ink want us to enforce the monetary recompense? If it's in our contract, would you like to ask him? He's using you yes. to stand there and look like scary muscle to make sure he gets his money. So that's exactly what he wants. He wants us to go there with and your stand insight, like scary muscle. He wants muscle. you to look tough and make sure he gets paid. Is that legal? He has a contract that is legally not, binding. Yeah, yeah, true. He has a legally got a binding contract. There is no law against standing, standing there looking yeah, scary. True, but if, it, if like... Uh, but if it escalates, rates. we might not be able to actually do anything. Yeah, exactly. We'll be breaking the law to beating up. Yes. Uh, no, but look, if, someone, if Counter- someone attacks you... Counterpoint. You can yeah. kill them. Right? You also know the lawman of the area. Yeah. Yes. And you could just involve him. Yeah, it wouldn't be... Instead of us being Counter- scary... Point. Muscle. Shouldn't we just wait, Who shouldn't is we the just lawman of the area? Oh, you don't know. We know. Can we pre su- assume yeah. that if someone attacks us, we can attack them? Is, does the law of the land say that? We are allowed to defend ourselves. Mm-hmm. We've done that several times. We've okay. done it several times in Freeport. Okay, cool. I'm but, learning about uh, Freeport. But, but so. when you but you blatantly murder people who attack you, yeah. it's slightly yeah. different. Yeah. Yeah. Like if a guy yourself. tries to punch you, but you mm. just go all your magical spells and poison it's, and it's, stab you. You like decapitate him. Yeah. Yeah. So, so make sure it's appropriate yes, for appropriate the attack. Response. Yes, yeah. I will ins- Demel will ensure, <laughs> who is me, Yeah. That an appropriate response is dealt do, out do we know to where the perpetrator. <laughs> we know where the guy lives, right? Yeah, he is at the docks. Or Why don't we guess an area? So call, let's go. We'll go. Why can we guess? Yeah, sure. We'll do go that. Go to a law hammer. This, this is yeah, a because he's he's not um he'd be kept on the guard, but he wouldn't be like a money collector. Okay, yeah, yeah, but guy, but like, there but he would have somebody that could yeah, go with you as a representative. Yeah, of like there, there's the law is. Like, sure, if you think that that is something that is worth time. Well, the fact that our employer is Herbert asking us for walking this. towards the dwarven place. <laughs> like, there is a legal... Stuff. Isn't there some sort of legal way of, of enforcing a contract that someone breached? Like, I guess this so. is a merchant town. Like, contract like laws probably... merchant police. Yeah, this is Freeport. This is a merchant <laughs> port town. I'm sure there are, like, very well-established... Business organizations. Do we know enforces the law within the merchant district? You would have to. You haven't dealt with them yourselves. Yeah, but we know often. So I imagine you would just go and have a chat to who you do know, and they can point you in the right direction. Sure, we go have a chat with the captain and guard. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm still walking towards Bram. You may. Whatever. I tell you. Uh, is Ink following? Which which way is Ink following? Demal is I, concerned. Yes. Demal is very concerned. Are you splitting the party? That Alex's character. What's his name? <laughs> Oliver. 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 That Oliver would not know how to behave in an appropriate attack. He used to live in this town. He what? Yeah, no. His yeah, backstory. He, he, he lived his here. backstory. He used okay. to be a bodyguard in this Excuse town. Excuse me. Yes. Oliver. <laughs> mm-hmm. Would you know how to behave? If there was an appropriate attack upon the party or yourself. Of course. Are you sure about that? <laughs> yes, I'm very well right. He's even got a license. He's, He's got a, a license. He's a, he was a licensed bodyguard uh, until yeah. he lost his job. Oh yeah. yeah. Why, <laughs> if he lost his job, a license, if he lost his job whilst huh? he was licensed, why, yeah, but he would be why would he be a good bodyguard? Wow. He wouldn't. He let the count break into a museum. This is my concern. <laughs> he wasn't. No, he no, was technically no, no. He wasn't a bodyguard. He was a security. He was guard. a security, security guard. Yes. Okay. Yeah. He, he was not yeah. guarding any one person. He was guarding things. I'm concerned yeah. for Oliver. Concern. <laughs> mm. When did you stop to care about me? <laughs> Since tonight, and specifically Oliver. I recall you were trying to steal stuff from me. Well, that might still be my game. Well then. Mm. <laughs> Keep that I'm in not mind. sure you meant to tell the people that you're gonna. St- <laughs> like I'm not a thief. Well, <laughs> okay. So are no, you I'm already, a, already <coughs> gone. On, on task. Are we well, sp- I need to know who is in. Are, are, are we splitting the party? Yes. So who is going to? I'll speak with the guards. Yeah, the guards. I, I, I only want to know where Ink is going. I've already gone. 
ankle no, triangle. No, he's not ink. Ankle triangle <laughs> strapped to. Weird. Okay, so ink is falling there. Yeah. Um, that. I'm guessing <laughs> that. that I'm guessing Damal is following Ink as per her agreement. Damal is this ensuring is that the outcome of her Probably contract not. is delivered appropriately in all circumstances. I, okay. Okay. Yeah, I, okay. Are you following your employer <laughs> currently? Um, Physically? Are you, are yes. You, are you following Ink or are you following them to the guards? That, that is. That is. Those are your two options. Pick one. Have I finished crafting poison? We're in town. Yeah, that's happened. And it's done, we're good. Yeah. Can, you, can cool. you take the boobs off the tiefling? But she is a woman. Why? She's allowed boobs. I, are you shaming my body? <laughs> mm, that one, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what about Sasha? I don't think you deserve to wear that uh, rainbow ribbon. Lord Sasha is there, she's white. Lord like, Ink. She's can't white. you see her? <laughs> <She's white. laughs> Lord Ink, would you like me to stay? <laughs> body like shaming, no. That's a body shaming gnome. I'm falling. <laughs> a body shaming hobbit. <laughs> Can't even call me a okay. gnome. As from you, your permission. Okay, wait, wait. You're, you're following me. Yeah. And your permission says that I can follow the group. May I? May I follow the group? If, well, the, the thing is, the party's splitting into two. Yeah. So half of them are staying with Ink and mm. going straight to. Well, Brown. not half. One. Some of roughly. Them. Do you have a preference? Follow me. Can I ask? I, okay, before Ink leave, I go. You want this to be dealt appropriately. That's what you asked for, of right? Of course. Well, we're in a town. Intimidation doesn't go well, reputation-wise. So why don't we go get involved in the actual law of the town? I have no problem with that. I just want to go and make sure that he's there. Um, what? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> There's something like. Suspicious happening behind us. No, he's making sure he's spelling the word correctly. So <laughs> because people on the stream can't can I, actually can see. I can I do a persuasion? Well, they'll see later. Wow, I don't know. I, I will... attempt a persuasion <laughs> check to get him to follow us he to the uh, guards first. Give me a roll. I mean, or, or not? Eighteen. Ah, well. Eighteen. <laughs> he stands there for a while, stroking his immaculate goatee. Who's this? I must already Ink. be at Bram's, just saying. Well, he w- Ink was walking with you, and Ink has stopped walking. Oh, well, I'm still walking. But okay. How? Okay. Okay, Kev. Ink is Kev. coming with us. Who's Kev? Uh, Rook. Yeah, Rook. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so Ink is now coming with yes, us? Yes, yeah. I convinced him sure. to take the... Take I will take the lead and head to the guard station. If yeah. Oliver Please, and Damal... I don't know. Where, where are you going, Oliver? Seeing he wandered off, I ask, where is he going? So I'm, I'm well out he's of... Gone. He's, gone. he's gone. He's gone. I, I, he's gone. Okay, I say uh, he probably didn't realize Ink's taking a sensible route. So uh, <laughs> go stop him. No, no, okay. I signal to Oliver. <laughs> yeah. I'll follow yeah. this guy. And then uh, keep him out of trouble. <laughs> okay, can I have a perception roll from you, Oliver? Perception. Seven plus three, ten. No. Go ten? On. Yeah. Um, you might find a gnome you, in you a might want to busy give marketplace. Uh, yeah, you, you Alex, like, something soft, his dice goes clunk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, like, yeah. Grab, grab three. <laughs> <laughs> um, you lose track of him <coughs> um, about three, four minutes after you start following him. It's a fighter, not a knight. Damn it! <laughs> now what do no, I? No, but you you know where he's going. Do I? You, you yeah, know, you know where, where he's going. going. So where is he going, going to the fridge? Him. He's going to the merchant area. Like my character would have told you where the guy that he's looking for. All right, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll start heading the yeah. same way. So you actually know where. You know, the last one, one, there's some behind you. Yeah. I borrow Kevin's thing. All right. What are you doing? Am I at Bram's yet? Scoring it. Uh, we'll roll that first, Jeez, and then we'll deal it. with the rest of the party. What are we rolling? So, you get there? Yep. I cast some visibility. Okay. I Give me a perception. <laughs> Is that a six on the yep. dice? Six on dice. Six on the dice. Nine. Uh, there is a uh, nothing wrong. A, a town guard standing at the door, um, but you don't notice anything else. Huh. But I'm invisible. 
Yes, you are invisible. There is a town guard standing directly in front of you. Darren, I suggest murder hobo. And you don't, you don't see anything <laughs> else. I um, I walk in past the guard. Uh, you can attempt to give me uh, uh, acrobatics. Wait, what? Oh, he's, he's, standing he's standing in the door. Right in he's the standing door. in the door. Oh, okay. I believe he was standing by the door. Should be still. <coughs> <coughs> He's, in, he's no, invisible. He's in the door. He's invisible. He's trying to get maneuver. I'm already gone. You're already gone. You're gone. Yeah. Happy to lucky blob. Happy to lucky shape. Demal is sad that Oliver is no longer with him. Um. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. I don't try to go past him. Um. I look for an alternative way in. Give me an investigation. How far am I away from? No way. Probably. St- after this roll, you get to where the building is. So I can see the guy and shit. You're not yet. 13. 13? Yeah. Um, you will spend a lot of time, um, and you will see that there is a smashed window on the second story. Yeah. Um, but there is no back door. There's only the one front door. Is the window that's smashed big enough for me to get through? How did it hit? Possibly. You would believe so. You can't... It's two stories up, so... And you're only half. You get, you have half the height of a regular person, so that's like four times taller in relation. Uh, so you now have arrived at the area. There is a guard in front of the door. Okay. Um, you cannot see Urbag anywhere. Okay, I'll start just yelling out, Urbag, where the fuck are you? Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa! <laughs> Language. Uh, Did you actually say that no, while no. I was. <laughs> the guard starts looking at you. Yeah. Do you do anything else? Because he's just looking at me. At the moment. I'll, ju- I'll just go up to him. Have you seen a little invisible gnome, maybe? An invisible... Have you he, seen he, he, an he invisible He squints gnome? at you and says, Invisible gnome. Yes. How does one see something that is invisible? Has he walked away from the door? No. Oh. I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. Demel wonders if perhaps... Demel doesn't wonder shit. There. She's not there. Demel wonders... She can wonder shit not being there. No. Yes, she can. <laughs> and I may do that. No. Yes. Demel wonders why Oliver went with the group. Went with the group. Mm. You mean Wait, not he go with the group? He didn't go, he didn't go, with, didn't go with, the with the group. He went with Urbeck. Everybody else has come. Yeah. Urbeck then. The man wonders why Oliver went Are you there. wondering it aloud? Yes. Oh, uh, I told Oliver to keep an eye on Urbeck so that he doesn't get in trouble. Mm. He gave, he gave and breach his contract and break laws. Mm. <laughs> Bend. Bend. <laughs> Bend laws. Um, the guard looks at you and says, can I help you? Is my echo. I'm looking for my friend. If he's going to climb with athletics. What does your friend look like? It's about uh, no this high. He says, "Check top." No, no, it's it's it doesn't exist. I'm oh. missing the thing. He's only like three feet. <laughs> Are you okay. missing half your catch? And oh, he's, he's, he's a dwarf, I believe. <laughs> he's a dwarf. He's a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my acrobatics is sick. Uh, what's your friend's name, sir? Too bad it doesn't involve climbing. His no, name. No, no, but I can try an acrobatics past the guard. I think his name was Shit. Armor check penalties are no longer a thing, eh? What? Shit. Armor check penalties. Uh, you are at the no, wrong house, sir. This is the house of Bram Ironfell. And who's this fella? None of your business. This is a police investigation scene. Can I ask you leave? Investigation scene? Give me a persuasion. Again. Persuasion? What do you persuade? Yes. On a question. He pre- yes. didn't even ask the question. He did. He, yes, he did. I tried to acrobatics past the guard. Uh, you can attempt to do What's that. What's my guidance? Is it a d4? Oh, no, no, no. So you, are you going to cast a spell in front of him and then... 16. What would he... What he mind? 16. Oh. Okay. That would be oddly suspicious to cast a spell in response to a question being asked. Can I do it with pretending I'm scratching? Give, give, give me a stealth roll first then, if you, if you want to push this. No, okay, I don't want to push this. Because I know he's distracted currently. 4 plus... Was it persuasion? Yeah. Four plus four, eight. Uh, first name Nanya, second name Business. Ugh, I heard please, that one before. Please, please more original. <laughs> um, at this point, you see 
um, the guard's <coughs> cloak move, and what you would assume your friend, invisible, maneuver between his legs and go inside. Mm. Don't, start, don't, don't you do <laughs> it! <laughs> don't, don't, don't you do it! I'll start yelling aloud. Oh, bag, what are you doing? <laughs> Cutscene, other group. You arrive <coughs> at both ends. Yeah. Guardhouse. Um, he is currently occupied. Uh, you wait for about five, ten minutes, sure. and then he ushers you in. Good friends, what can I do for you? No! Control Z. Oh, thank you. So you left a hole, Dan. There's a hole. <laughs> oh, um, you working, we are here to request your help. Uh, we have a contract negotiation. Yes. Uh, that we need to resolve. Mm -hmm. The merchant, Graham Ironfell, out in the Freeport docks or whatever, like mm -hmm. you know him. Uh, he's in breach of contract with our friend here, or employer here, Inc. And we would like you, your help to officially settle this because we uh, are afraid that Graham might, due to his less than honorable nature, um, not honor the penalties of breaking the contract. Yes, yes, yes. I, uh, I understand where you're coming from. This uh, seems like a fair step down from your last line of work. Unfortunately. No, 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 no world saving a little bit hard to find these days. <laughs> we take what work we can. <laughs> mm. And this is a partial family matter. You do remember that halfling what, do or dwarf, whatever he may be, that, that blob. The annoying one. The annoying one, Urbag. This is his uncle. A bigger <laughs> Urbag. Maybe older and wiser, I'm not sure yet. And he has requested our... I see the resemblance. Yeah, he's requested our adventuring skills. Mm -hmm. So, he, we are under his employ for now. Yes, yes, yes. I can I can sort something for you. Yeah. And he leans down, writes a note, passes it to the guard next to him. Follow the guard, he'll, he'll sort you out. Okay. Um, before we leave, I ask, um, do you know anything about Graham Ironfell? Like, has he been on the up and up, or has he been known to be kind of dodgy lately? Um, Breaking laws. How well did you know the man? Well, he tried to employ us once, but he too cheated us out of fair payment for a job um, we agreed to. Good thing I know who you are then. Yes. Uh, Bram Ironfell was killed two nights ago. Wait, then why did you bother giving us the thing? You if didn't he's dead. tell me who it was for. No, I said Graham Ironfell. Yeah. Well, you can still deal with his um, will and holdings teams for his trusts that he had in place. Uh, uh, I turn to Ink I say Bram Ironfell's dead now. What do yeah. you wish to do? Um, I, I, I think most contracts are enforceable after death. <laughs> yes. Demel Depends on how the contract is written. Well, Demel no, no, no. is going to if put it's himself his his behind a rock and... Wait, what stealth? rock? There are no what rocks rock? in We're the in a room. Waters. You're in the middle of his house. <laughs> right. <laughs> like you're in, a, you're in a building surrounded by people. Are there chairs? You probably couldn't stealth in here because you're surrounded by people. There's no tall back chairs with which I can pres uh, pre m remove myself from his view? There's nothing. You, you know you're not creating invisibility. You're like blending in with your I'm surroundings. I'm very aware. There's, there's a desk that he's sitting at. Yes. There's a couple of stools on the other side of that desk. Yes. And the rest of the desk is just bookshelves on the walls. <coughs> That's it. Okay. How many... Which other people are in the room? All of the party, barring Oliver and Urbag. There are probably and some guards nearby. probably three or four guards in the room as well as two How outside. big are the guards? Normal guard size standing <laughs> against the wall. Jamal is leaf, short, and slender. You can attempt to make a roll. She would like to attempt to hide yep. and blend into the shadows behind the gun. Ooh. With a natural 20, <laughs> uh, you disappear from reality. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you go are, inside a gun. You go you inside a gun. You are the essence of invisibility. <laughs> you are now part of Rook. I'm part of Rook. <laughs> Wait, I'm not a guard. You she specified a I'm part of yeah. you. So I may see through your eyes. You are you are his shadow. Okay. okay. Literally. So I may view him uh, as his shadow. 
You are his shadow. I am his shadow? So you, I, you are invisible. So I can see everything that he sees no. or does? No, you, does? you, you just... You is are the shadow. As yeah. a shadow. Okay, cool. So I asked him, does your contract default if you're the guy you had a contract with dead? Uh, he ponders for some time and yeah. says, hmm, hmm, I think this might be a lawyer's matter. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll get my contract lawyers on this. And he turns to his side and whispers into oh, Lafayette. And, and then goes, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. And then um, says, okay, I guess our business here is done. Yes, let us go find horses and continue on our journey. Oh, yeah, oh, oh are we taking land route or boat route? Land. You had oh, okay. land by two ways where you could follow the road, mm-hmm. you could go off road, or you could go by sea. Those are the most common options you have available to you. To what you choose is up to you. Demar wonders what Oliver's going to choose because she certainly wouldn't want to be stuck on the sea. Before we leave, um,. I asked the captain of the guard, do we know why or how or who killed Brand? Or is that still ongoing? No, but as of yet, we have a team of investigators looking into this. Any leads? Um, nothing as of yet. We have one possible suspect, but we haven't found anything. How was he killed? Stabbed. Stabbed. Mm, that's pretty pedestrian. Hey, kind of deserved it. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> Rook's not bothered. He's like. I'm not really. I don't really yeah. care. I never knew the guy, so. I yeah. Think, shouldn't we just move on now that we don't have any more business here? Yeah, because Ink is happy. Oh, no. I guess. He, he's satisfied. Zamal feels yeah. that she has fulfilled the terms <laughs> of her contract to her employer, Ink. Indeed. Mm. <laughs> okay, let's go. Come back to the other party. Urbeg, can I have a stealth roll? As you attempt to stealthily wander around the facility invisible, said bonuses will be applied. Oh, they haven't, 17. Oh, they haven't been called out already? Uh, you are invisible. Give me an investigation to investigate the... Investigation this? Yep. Uh, and what are you doing, Oliver? Am I still talking to the guard? The guard is in your way. 17 um, you also. You know that your friend has gone inside and is investigating. Or you assume is wandering around stealing shit. You're outside. Can't assume that. Guard is in the way. Can't assume. Presuppose. Can't. Oh, that's the guard. What do I gotta do to get in there? Be an investigator? Or have a pocket full of money. How much we're talking? Give me a persuasion. <laughs> uh, Fourteen. Actually, fifteen. Five gold to get you five minutes. Ah, uh, yeah, here. <laughs> Give you five gold. He tucks the five gold into his little gold pouch and yep. steps to the side. I go in. You don't see anything. Um, you do see the odd item moving. Demel um, would like to know where in space she is presently. You are currently with the rest of the group, probably wandering towards them to find them. I thought this was happening simultaneously. It is. It is. Yes. Yeah. yes. Demel yeah. is asking where she is. You are walking on a footpath. Thank you. No, no, wait. For no, still both is where we're going. Yeah. We haven't decided. You're walking on a footpath, though. Right? Yeah, but we're headed towards the stables. We're not headed towards yeah. them. Yeah, okay. <laughs> You're headed towards something. Yeah. yeah. What do we see in the room? 17. <clears throat> 17? Uh, all the you, investigation all the time. You you, just you would find uh, that the room the has house, been turned over. Mm-hmm. Um, not just by police, by. but with your 17, um, it, looks like it's, <laughs> it looks like somebody got to it before the popo. Um, and you find a couple of safes throughout the room. Yeah, yeah. Um, safe, you say? All of which are already unlocked and empty. Hmm, hmm, interesting, interesting. Using my, um... Not detect secret door, that doesn't exist anymore. No, 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 but using my, just, you know, <clears throat> uncanny ability to there are determine... Stairs. There are stairs. What is and is not expensive. Mm-hmm. Do I see anything that would be? Uh, 
kind of not in the realms of repaying my uncle. Nothing of that much wealth. And there are stairs. And there's nothing really of note. There are stairs that go upstairs. Stairs. Mm-hmm. I go upstairs. Oliver. What? You're looking around? Mm-hmm. And what'd you roll? I didn't roll. You didn't. Investigation. Investigate! Oh. Four. Plus three. Um, there is a painting on the wall and it is very plus entrancing. One. What? This, of your five minutes, you probably spend two or three just looking at this painting going, man, that's a cool painting. It's, okay. of, a, it's of a foresty grove. Um, and there's it, a ditto in it. it. It reminds you of um, where you grew up. Um... Mm. And the more you stare at the painting, the more it reminds you of home. Demel wonders if Oliver is okay wandering off on his own, <laughs> or whether perhaps <coughs> there might be something more going on. Uh, you go upstairs, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. looking around. Um, I am. You see a bed covered in blood. As you would, at emergency. Um, there is a smashed window. Mm-hmm. And that's who you see immediately. I would like to investigate. Give me another roll. Oh, baby! Second story. Thirteen. Thirteen? Um, the window appears to be smashed from the inside going out. How like the glasses are, the glasses oh, are the glasses on the inside. On the floor, so, yeah. That's not on the inside? Sure. That's how you would tell. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. intelligent people know intelligent things. Yeah, no, it's a good thing I'm not intelligent. Um, there are some specks of blood on the glass. Yeah. Um, and Is looking, it red? looking out the window, Is um, the blood you can see, like you know, in apartment buildings, how they have like the outside stairs. Yes. And like fire and escape. stuff. Yeah, fire escape stuff. Um, you can see that on the next building over, where cool. you assume somebody was, who was dexterous could have jumped from. Cool. Window two. Is the is the blood on the window red? Yes. Okay. Um, but it is, is there, very, it is very dry. Is there anything of note in the room? Not that you can see with your thirteen. Hmm. Hmm. Oliver. Yes. You've got another two minutes left. What are you going to do? Do I still not know where our bag is? You haven't seen him. You've heard noises making being made upstairs. I'll go upstairs. Okay. You're upstairs. Okay. You don't see your bag. You see blood all over a bed um, that is dry and caked. Um, there is definitely a smell of death in the room. Um, and there is a smashed window. Okay. I go, our bag, if you can hear me, answer. No. <laughs> I look under the bed. Because you there's nothing, under, there's nothing under the bed. The bed. Yeah. Well, yeah. Why would I answer you? We well, gotta go. Uh, who? What? Why? Doctor's order. Uh, okay. Well, there's nothing here anyway. So. Okay. So do you leave? Yeah, I leave ahead of him as not to. Do you do so invisible or do you yeah, do yeah. so? Yeah, no, I do so is invisible. It, no, okay. no, I'm visible. Okay, so you leave? Yeah. Where do you guys head? Wait, as I go down, is the guard coming to get me? As you would walk out the door, he would nod his head at you. So I take another look at that painting. Yep. And I go up to him. How much for that painting? <laughs> I can't sell you somebody else's stuff. Nobody needs to know. But for the right price, if I wasn't looking in that direction, there would be no painting. And what painting would yeah, you be talking about? Yeah, I don't know. For what price are you going? His eyes get real wide and he says, 150 gold. Oh, yeah? Hmm. That's All right. Like four years worth of rage. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you ten. <laughs> I walk, I, because the, I, I presume they're still like not. They're, 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 they're conversing. Gap, right? they can, they're, they're conversing, conversing to the side. Gap. Yeah. I walk in. I walk back in. Mm-hmm. How big? How big is said painting? It's like painting. <laughs> like grand art. Like big. I just big walk people, in and I try to. Are. I try to take the painting down. 
Okay, give me a dexterity roll. Oh my god. Um, okay, At this point, Damal would like to bend into shadows behind the taken, the painting that has been taken down. You get up there. You're not there. You're, you're walking. You're, you're walking. You're, with you're, walking. With you're, with you're, yes. you're with them walking towards the stables. Thank you for Correct. reorienting me. I appreciate it. A dexterity um, roll. What type of dexterity roll? Just straight dex roll. So it's dexterity just check. Roll, roll plus your dex. Yeah. Bonus. Twenty. Oh, that's pretty solid. Uh, you are able to get the painting off the wall. Okay. Um, he says, the he says ten gold. Yeah. Are you kidding? No, I'm not. It's I 150. Th- otherwise, I'll arrest you for stealing a painting. I and start, I'll I start tell with. your supervisor you accepted a bribe. What bribe? What proof have you got that I accepted a bribe? Damn it, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> you win this time, God man. <laughs> I start rolling Touché. up the <laughs> Uh, the painting is framed and pinned to the frame, so you would have to remove how many bits? Uh, probably more than your invisibility time left. Do you pay him or not? No, I walk away and say, "You suck," and just walk away. I look at the amount of pins and I'm like, he, he looks in. He looks into the room and sees the painting on the ground, and looks back at you and says. What did you do to the painting? I didn't do anything. I was talking to you. Well, the painting's not on the wall. It Maybe. was on the wall before. You made it fail. Paintings don't just fall off walls. Don't you know. don't know that. Put it back. <sighs> no. <laughs> you walk away. Walk and I walk away. He just, walk he pulls away. his sword up and says, put it back. Or what? Or I'll arrest you. For? For going into... In- a police investigation site without permission. Then you suck at your job. <laughs> I will arrest you, sir. This is your last warning. Oh, this is going well. Yes. I just I'm go there, back I'm in. Not there. This is good. Yeah. Why would you? Oh, because you're the lawyer. Right? <laughs> also, I'm glad I'm not there. My <laughs> <laughs> well, thing is, you and him will never escape to this point. Yeah. Did you put the painting on the wall. I mean, we let them out of sight, immediately crimes are yeah. committed. Are you a bitch? I was like, you're lucky I'm under contract. So I put the painting back. I, I look, I'm like... Uh, and then just walk out. You walk, follow him. Okay, you walk back up? Yeah. Um, as you walk past him and he stands back in front of the door, he says, you little bitch. Okay. Do you walk off? Yeah. Wait, but before I walk off, I'm gonna flip them off. <laughs> Where are you walking? I, I'm still invisible, right? You have like a minute of invisibility left. I yeah? walk back and tie the shoelaces together. Okay, give me uh, a <laughs> slide of hand, wouldn't it? Stealth first, he's gotta try and. 15. Okay, now give me a slide of hand. With plus 10. 20. Ooh. Is that a natural 20? No, it's just yeah, 10. Yeah, it's 30, 20. Uh, yep, yeah. his, his bootstraps are bootstraps. It's just the strapping of the boots. Brilliant. I walk I walk in line with Oliver, still invisible. I'm like, you kind of love this. Yeah, love like what? Taunt him. Hey, you piece of shit. What? You heard me. And he steps forward and falls flat on his face. <laughs> Run. He then gets up and says, Oi, you! Come here! Yeah, I stopped to run. <laughs> Can I have a stealth check? From me? Both of you, because you're invisible and you just wore off. I'm going to do that. <laughs> 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 One. Yeah. Four plus ten. Uh, Twenty. 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 Was it stealth? Yeah. Plus zero. Fourteen. Uh, you are able to disappear into the clown. Uh, into, into the, the clown. <laughs> <laughs> into, the, into the crowd. England is hard. Um, you, however, fall flat on your face. Do I see him Into fall? a puddle of mud. Yes, Great. his invisibility Obviously wall, in so front of everybody. And like, he would have... your head off. Wouldn't the guard have seen a random gnome just appear next to the guy? Yeah. But see, from the guy's viewpoint, the gnome didn't actually do anything to him. It's just yeah, I didn't do nothing. He did. He yeah. did ask about an invisible gnome when he first met him. Uh, he dwarf. He, he, did. Said dwarf. <laughs> he said dwarf. He said dwarf. Everyone is looking at you. What do you do? 
Press the digitation. <laughs> and what does that do? What does that do? Make yourself clean. Makes myself clean. Yeah. And, and then I what go. do you do? I go. You just stood up that and That was yourself fucking clean. funny. <laughs> so was you falling on face? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, but clean. Go away, my boy. And I go. Don't talk to him like that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you've come back? <laughs> you ran away. You ran away and you ran back? <laughs> no. Yes. You, okay. Yeah, you're going to start a fight with some random person? No, okay. I just tell him to talk to my boy like that. You're standing behind him like looking tough. Yeah. The guy's looking at you and going, come here. This is the same guy. You. Yes. It's the right shoelace is still tied. No, he's untied his shoelaces now. I start picking our bag up and run. <laughs> Can I have a strength check? I weigh like two kilos. Yeah, but he's not strong anymore. Oh. Uh, guidance. 20, 30. Yeah, you. you 30? You definitely. What? 20, 30. 30, 20. 30, 20. Dirty. 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 Uh, dirty. <laughs> you definitely pick him up, throw him over your shoulder. Yeah. And. Disappear into the crowd. Yes. Where are you, where are you, where are you running to? Back to where, where everyone is. <laughs> you don't know where. You don't are. know where they, everyone they, is. They, they went to. They went to both ends. I'll just that go back the to the last video. place that um, yeah. I saw them. Okay. We obviously told both ends where we were going. Yeah. Okay. 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 As yeah. group. Okay. So we're we preparing. How's, how's that weather? How's that weather, guys? So yeah. we're preparing to go on like what a staring at free stones week on the ground, throwing them cart casually at rabbits. Overland journey. <laughs> yes, but we probably won't need the cart. She's found rabbits. You no, know, we won't need a cart. Uh, we should probably just go, go, invest like what ten gold in rabbits, like a month worth of food, right? Do you want to keep the cart? I feel the cat is kind of slow no really and unwieldy. So is trying to have him take care of one, two, three, six horses? Uh, you want to take care of six <laughs> horses? I just want that one horse for myself. <laughs> and then it, and then say bye to everyone else. Uh, are we keeping the cat? Might as well. There's no reason Demma, not. what do you think? Should we keep the cat? Or do you feel that it will hinder us? Demal is... A woman of third person at the moment. <laughs> Fantastic. And she likes speaking in third person. Oh. Because she is describing herself. So this is a self belief Damal has about herself. Uh -huh. She has the self belief that she will be absolutely fabulous wherever the group goes and she will be able to defend against any threat. She will trust the wisdom of the group. I asked her, did I answer the question? You probably didn't. No. <laughs> it was very Are invasive. Sure? Yeah. Are you sure it didn't? I am reasonably sure it did not. Damal wants he's, the he's, group to decide. He's a, he's a lawyer. He knows the lawyer speak. <laughs> mm. Anyway, there's no reason not to have a car for transport as opposed to six horses. They did. It's like... Half when a dozen. I have, when six. I have six horses, pull the one card. Holy shit. Maximum efficiency. I don't know that that's maximum efficiency. <laughs> that's not a horse that's Six horsepower, S mate. Six horsepower is more than two horsepower, yeah. I guess. But are you even proficient in riding uh, mounts? Uh, I have vehicle. no idea. What, what is the thing? Is it uh, animal handling? Uh, no, no, it's a proficiency. It's like... Um, there's a proficiency? Yeah, there's a proficiency for land vehicles, proficiency for land mounts. Oh, um, so there's actual proficiency Yeah, those are actual individual mounts. proficiencies. Where do you put those? Um, no, but what do you roll if you don't have a proficiency? What's the stat roll based on? Uh, based on whatever the DM handling. Things, handling yeah. Oh, it's just animal <laughs> handling? Alright, it's fine. Like, I, it depends yeah. on... Uh, like, I'm not yeah. out to like do battle on a war horse or anything. It just, it's transport. Yeah. Sure, we'll go to the stables, we'll keep the cart, we'll buy an additional four horses to supplement our current two. Okay. Demel uh, thinks that herself that she has done her job. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Well done, Demel. <laughs> okay, okay, well, while well, well, they go uh, <laughs> supply, uh, go supply more horses for the car, I'll go, yeah. I'll go source some food for this like three week journey. Sure. Uh, we kind of know the stable guy. I assume it's well, like I three weeks. How long is it going to take? 
the distance that you've got is probably another five, six weeks. Okay, five, six weeks of travel. I'm just going to go over there and like get him to deliver some food to the stable. Sure. So stay there. Um, yeah, I, I go leave. to the stable. Like, I obviously know the stableman because we've been yep. in and out of yep. Freeport. So whatever so the prices should... of horses... Oh, shit. Okay, so I guess I'll wagon. And what quality of horses are you looking for? Medium guy. There's standard mounts. Yeah. There's specific mounts for riding. There's specific mounts for towing. There's specific mounts for like heavy towing and specific mounts for like carriage towing. I guess carriage towing. Yep. Uh, what is persuasion? Yeah. Uh, persuasion. Persuasion. Uh, fourteen. Uh, as you've dealt with this gentleman um, before, yes, um, he does prefer the the prettier one in your party to deal with, uh, but he is willing to deal with you. <laughs> but I'm not there. Oh. You're assuming you it's you. You didn't, you didn't get the horses last time. We got the horses last Sasha. time. Sasha. <laughs> yes. Um, so pretty much I'm telling him uh, I'm trying to buy the horses, yeah. but if we if I, when we'll eventually come back and just return the horses back to him. Yeah, uh, 150 a horse. Uh, 150, that is 4 horses? 600. 600. Um, I'll just pay. 600 what? Gold. Gold. Tamal is learning from That's her experiences lot. and learning very slowly that her character does not need to use violence to influence. It's a good thing to learn. <laughs> it's, it's a good thing to learn. Especially um, in the non I have paid the 600 party. gold. Mm. She has been grounded by her contract and the affirmations of her friends. Um, while all of this is happening, Man, Ink is sitting on the couch, um, reading through some papers. Mm -hmm. She's, um, she can learn too. And too. talking to himself. Uh, you go to get food? Yep. Yep. So, so, so you go, go to the best food spot? I guess go to the... yeah. Whoever that sells long lasting dried trail rations yep. in bulk. Yeah. I guess did the quick math using the place handbook numbers. It's yep. 126 gold for six weeks for six people. Can we persuasion? Yeah. So let's see how generically <coughs> charismatic you nope. get. Well, not great. Uh, seven. <laughs> uh, make it 140. Can I throw. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's like a crate of food. Can I also throw in two barrels of fresh water? Mainly paying for the barrels. Sure. Okay. Okay. I say, uh, can you get it? Can I? Okay. I throw an extra five and say, deliver it for me to the stables. Ten. Ah, fuck, I don't care. Okay, <laughs> go for it. Yep. <laughs> yep. Cool. Gold is irrelevant. Yeah, yeah pretty yeah, much. Uh, gold, I buy an you're extra few, like, horseshoes, some tools to repair the wagon, and an extra wheel. Just he throws them in because you were so charming. Yeah, okay. Okay. Thank okay. You, oh. <laughs> So on my way, uh, I said I'll put in a good word with you with the sexy one when she comes back. <laughs> or if you says, thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Or has he now okay. got a, a but, new preference? But okay. <laughs> so on my way to the stables, I want to make a stop at uh, one of the I know a, a nicer but not the super expensive uh, jeweler. Yep. I want to take let them take a look at the amulet that uh, I acquired when we first encountered those slaves. Mm -hmm. Ask them if they have any appropriately sized rubies that would fit in the socket of this amulet. I say, I wish to restore a missing jewel in there. Uh, they look at it um, and assess it with their jeweler's pieces. Uh, uh, he says that he will have a stone of the appropriate size, um, but it will need to be shaped and the settings will need to be reshaped in the amulet. Is there um, something you could do today? No. Uh, so you have no stone on hand that could fit this quickly? Not on hand. Okay. You'd have to leave it with me for at least two days. Uh, I'm gone by tomorrow, so thank you and goodbye. <laughs> I asked Damal, Damal, would you like to go clothes shopping? Hmm. <laughs> Damal wonders to herself. And do you have particular Maybe. skill in that? Hmm. A particular skill Demel in clothes Demal would like shopping. to find out. Demal has decided that yeah. she will say, I shall come with you and we shall see. 
I explained to Damar what I'm trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> I wish to get a set of desert travel outfits for all members of the party. Mm. Um, Naturally, I do not know much about clothes. Mm. You have some particular taste and style of desert clothing. Um, would you I like to know me personally, or would you like to know <laughs> for the group? I would like to know for everybody, <laughs> specifically in the group. Mm. However, you may take liberties when choosing Urbeck Junior's clothes. <laughs> Just because <laughs> Jamal delights in I hearing feel this. that he and would says, enjoy Go on. the surprise at looking quite eccentric <laughs> upon reaching the desert and finding that that is what he has to wear. <laughs> Jamal will ponder this suggestion. The more flamboyant and eccentric, the mm. better. Mm. <laughs> Jamal will think on this. Excellent. We shall okay. be off then. I tell the stable guy we'll come back. Yeah. <laughs> Investigation rules? Man, I hope there's one of those. You cats, can either. Like the, the big. Fucking hunting white hat thing. You can either both roll or one person can roll at advantage. I'll just do advantage. Yeah. Oh. oh. Uh, <laughs> Net one, roll that. What? That was a seven. Okay. Oh, you want me to roll that yeah, one? Yeah, that was seven. It was fair yeah, no, no, seven. No, no, like, he's, it wasn't caught. He's, he's rolled both. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the total investigation roll is 14. Uh, it probably takes you about a good 40 minutes to find the right sort of shop. Yeah. Um, and then can I either have persuasion rolls from each of you, or one of you roll at advantage? Uh, are you better at persuasion? Uh, her persuasion. She is not. Presently. Is zero. Presently, Damal feels that this should be better be left to someone else. Where's your Demal, character sheet? Damal. She forgot it. But I I'm creating Damal as I speak. Okay. I, I have her character sheet. I will roll it at. Um, and if you look on your phone, you have your character sheet. In, uh, Thank Advantage. Perse- uh, persuasion? Yep. Persuasion. Uh, well, one time was a 19. So, at uh, 25. 25? Yes. Uh, 25. You are very successful in finding exactly what you need in the store. Yes. Uh, you can purchase whatever goods you want at a discounted rate as the um, salesperson and owner of the business is charmed by you and okay. your rugged good looks. At some point when the issue comes up, we may describe the clothes we have bought for our friends. Well, let's just say currently we have chosen appropriately. Yep. Okay. yep. Demal would like to think about what appropriately means. Yes, and you and may Demal design them. Demal would like to yeah. choose. May she choose the clothes? Oh, you may. Oh, you're, you're may choosing choose. everything. You just you just mm. think about it and come up with it. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, it's pretty much just like desert um, attire. Where, like, so attire like, like, so that we don't die from his stroke. Jamal has the attire for yeah. the team. Okay. <laughs> uh, other two, you have got <laughs> to um, uh. both end. Um, you are outside his building and you do not see your friends. What do you wish to do? Before I go in, I tell her back, I appreciate that man. He was giving me shit. Oh, I got your back. Whoa, 10 viewers. I owe you one. Should we now go find our doctor lawyer friend? Well, we'll go talk to both hands first and see where they were going. Okay. Hey, both hands! Sup? <sighs> uh, if you're looking for your group, they have headed towards the stables. Oh, that makes sense. We were. Hey, um, also, the guy that's guarding Bran's place, really susceptible to bribes. Just, just thought you better know. What do you mean? We were like, oh, what's going on here? And how can we get in? And he was like, oh, give us some money and I can get in and you can get in. And so, you know, just to test him, my friend gave him some money and like he stepped aside That's and we were like, no. That's a lie. No, we don't want to go in. You're that lying. doesn't sound like Uther. Well, that's what You're he lying. did. You're Uther's one of our most honest officers. Well, I mean, I... I don't know if his name was Uther, but he was the guy standing in the door. Hmm. Hmm. This troubles me. Thank you. Do I, do I, do I need to roll persuasion? I feel like you need to roll a deception because you lied to him. I did lie to him. Huh? You didn't lie to him. He did. He, he did. did. He said, I'll bribe him to just to test him. We, no, you didn't. Give, you didn't give, bribe him to give, test him. Give me a deception then. <laughs> Who's deception? <laughs> deception? Okay. Look, look, that's fine. Because it's 150? It's plus 11. 
Uh, 30. <laughs> Seems good. Totally Did I deleted. deceive his pants off? Totally believe Man, now that guy's fired as you yeah. You swear vengeance. Destroyed that guy's life. But it's okay. It's fine. Olive is the one that's going to get blamed, so. Yeah, I wasn't even out. there. <laughs> okay. Before I leave, I, what's the guard's name? Bofan. Bofan. I'll say. Oh, the guard captain is Bofan. No. The guard's yeah, Bofan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go Bofan. Tell Arthur I say, fuck you. <laughs> Uther. Uther. Arthur's his son's name. <laughs> I will pass that on when we shack him up and put him in prison. Yeah. Great. Good. Good. You know, we just don't want disorder happening in your fair city. Exactly. Okay. Let's go. I've got plenty of work to do. Uh, I will see you next time you're in town. All right, man. See you next time. I owe you a bear stool. That you do. Mm, next time. Okay. Um, you get back to the stables at about the same time as everybody else. Um... Is there anything else you wish to do, Aisha? Just double check. Did the shipment of food get here? Yep, the food is there. It has been loaded onto the cart. Um, Ink is already eating some apples. I think, you know, th- th- there is 252 units of food here. Yes, there is a lot <laughs> and, of food. And 80 gallons of water. The, the cart is rather full. Sure. There's some bags of Good thing it's clothing a big cart. in the corner yep. somewhere. Yeah. Is, does it say... The warehouse. Um, it is. It I don't is, know where. Where do we get it from? <laughs> it is. It is getting towards nighttime as you have spent several hours. So it's getting towards it like evening, nighttime sort of time. Mm-hmm. What would you mm-hmm. like to do now? Uh, how about we sleep, leave in the morning? Sure. Kind of like a plan. Can yes. we stay in the stables? Or are we going to go? Uh, the the stable master turns to you and says, "Stables are for horses." Yeah, there's an you inn right across the road. You can go stay at an inn. Is there one like right across the road? They tend to be very close to stables. Yeah, but you know. I'm not fun stupid. But you're like a tavern guy. Yeah, but I have a portable tavern. That no one goes to, so you have no audience. Mm-hmm. Wait, you have a portable tavern? His house, the portable house. Oh, but you didn't actually tell us about it. No, but... Jamal knows. Yeah. Um, and someone Ink else knows. Ink knows. The tavern across <laughs> from the oh. current stables you are at is called the Cunning Butcher. Cunning well, I've just it I've just said I have a portable tavern. Why would I need to go? It is and a metery. Now you guys can all be like, what? It's a metery. 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 As in like meat. As in butchers. They serve lots of meat at oh. the Cunning Butchers. I go for an ink. Would you like to da- dine in that in there or stay in his tavern? <laughs> Solitary. Demel um. wonders to herself whether perhaps the clothes she picked may actually have two purposes. Sure. If, if, it, if it was designed that way. Yes. Yeah, she thinks further from the comments from her comrade yeah. and decides that perhaps yes, perhaps they did. So therefore, she suggested to the group that they might like to dress up for their <laughs> dining tonight. <laughs> I say no and just go to the tavern. Fantastic. I'm already dressed up. I'm always dressed up. Oh yeah? And you're bedazzled up. Yeah. Yee boy. Look, so he wonders what desert wear Damal actually got. <laughs> Turns out you're all wearing like... I said desert wear. <laughs> Not dessert wear. <laughs> Not dessert wear. <laughs> <laughs> you've all got like I Sunday can't tops. Check, right Damal wonders <laughs> whether perhaps her comrade thinks that she is clever th- cleverer than she is. So you go into the inn? <laughs> Oliver, hang on. Oliver? Yeah, Wait, <laughs> Oliver, would you like I to wear well. any uh, Yes, we go to that... that in. So I take a look. Why well, I go to take a look? I don't yeah. like these guys. Okay. <laughs> I'm already what yeah. What's he looking at? <coughs> clothing. You're looking at clothing? The clothing that you, you picked bought. for him? Yeah. Yeah? Cool. What does this clothing look like to your character? Well, you've got to explain what you bought. Cause you're yeah, the you do it all with You have to do anything. No, you do, because that's what I just said. Okay, let me explain <laughs> it. <laughs> 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 you want to let me explain it then? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what clothing did your character... How, how does the... Damal wonders whether she could perhaps get Oliver to decide 
what the clothes are himself rather than her tell them what they are. No, no, because you because you, the you DM went shopping. Just told yeah, because you, you went shopping you based went shopping on what you know of mm. Oliver. So would that be your okay. case? So, yeah. so it was it's the fine. two of you yeah. shopping. It's fine. Yeah. He bankrolled it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And kind of made the odd pick. Mm-hmm. Um, but you primarily For decided the look of the desert wear outfits. Mm. Demel, um, so Demel ex- doesn't just, feel like explaining it. <laughs> Demel wants to let Oliver <coughs> decide what he is wearing, and she is going to do that by asking him some leading questions. So, Oliver? Yeah. No, that's not how it works. <laughs> it can be how it works. Have not you decided that's not how it's working? No, the DM. I think Wait. the DM decided. The DM. Has the clothes been the bought DM yet? Decide. Yeah, the clothes have been bought. You, you, you've already bought the clothes. I paid for so them. I know I've already bought yeah. the clothes. Just so you okay, know what the clothes of, are out of, look like. out of the world, mm-hmm. yeah. what I am trying to do is I am trying to get Oliver to... have an to, optimized outfit. No, that's actually not my goal. My goal is to get his character to feel, smell, and wear the clothes. I have already picked the design, but I want his character to feel emotion attached to the clothing. So how does he do that when you haven't told him what the clothing that you bought? She can ask like? him questions. So you're going to let her ask him questions or okay, not? Okay, so how, no. we're gonna, how, how we're going to play this mm. is you're going to ask your leading questions. <laughs> yes. And then from that, you're going to choose the items out of the bag of clothes that you've purchased mm. and give those to him. Yes, sure. Rook wonders himself whether this is a trick to get uh, Oliver to describe the most amazing outfit. You and then the man goes, no, nope, I'm giving you this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Did that pause? No, no, you're fine. no, no fine. Yeah, Le- it's fine. Leading questions. Fire them away. Oliver. <laughs> yeah. I got these clothes for you. Here you go. What? What do they look like? What do you think they look like? <laughs> no, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, not, not, that's, no. That's, that's not the sort of leading questions. You got to ask him like uh, questions like, so what's your favorite color or. If it was hot, what sort of clothes would you wear? Okay, or like Demal, that thinks, sort of thing. Demal thinks, before she presents them to Oliver, to ask him about who Oliver is. So, Oliver, mm-hmm. I, uh, I got some clothes, just random assortments in a bag, uh, and I, I'm wondering whether any of them are for you. So, because of that, I would like to know your favourite colour. My favourite colour? Mm. Mm. I'll go with black. I expected and, green. And uh, if you are, if you are <laughs> in an I environment, I expected green. <laughs> what's your ideal um, temperature level? Mm. I think hard, and then I'll go winter. Winter. Yeah. This fabulous cloak I have for you will ensure that you are any temperature you wish to be wherever you are. What? How does that work? <laughs> you just decided it as your character, because you said... No. What was it? Wait, wait, is it magically or... Hang on. What, no, what, uh, what temperature did you say? Winter. 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 This cloak lets you yeah. have winter if you so desire. What? Oh. What? 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 Ha- no, you can't just make up magical items. <laughs> yeah, I didn't watch. make it... I haven't... The only magical properties is that Oliver has emotionally attached winter to his cloak. So, so does that mean he feels winter-like uh, conditions? Feels cold when he puts his cloak It's up to him how he feels. He has just described it as winter. He can feel however he likes from that description. I, I think we... Uh, I, I think am trying to get his character to be involved with the game by interacting with the cloak, however his character wants to. You have to love this cloak Are you going to let me do yeah, that to his it character? Is, it is now your favourite cloak. It is now a part of you. <laughs> you will dishonor your family if it's ever torn. Right. <laughs> so while you hand it to me, mm, yeah. I hand it to I'll you. I'll grab it and it's like, hmm, how does this work? So, so when you when <laughs> you look at, you like when, it when you look at that cloak, yeah, out of game, think <laughs> Jon Snow. You now have a cloak that is black, and it's got like big fluffy bits around the top. What? It looks completely impractical for the desert <laughs> weather, but you imagine in winter, this shit's tight. Okay, what's the weather right now? Hot. Is it summer it's, or it's it's, it's probably it autumn? Summer. Awesome. Okay. You're heading to an area that's desert, so it would be hot, but at the same time not hot because it would be heading into. It'd be windy winter. season. Yeah, it'd be windy season. Okay. 
I'll put it on and I go, hmm, I feel hot. <laughs> <laughs> Demel thinks that this is acceptable. Sure. Okay. <laughs> you you go into you go into the pub. We, we've gone. We've we had this conversation gone. Yeah, for like I'm ten not minutes. Sure but I've extended yeah, the no, he's, he's, I'm extended. Yeah, no, I'm already meal? like fucking two mugs down. Okay. <laughs> um, do you wish to do anything tonight? Not it's really. No, I, I kind of want to just leave. Get home, sleep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I want to do yeah. the same thing I do every night. <laughs> out of out of Drink game. Drink myself under the table. Out of game. You have three options as to travel. You're obviously voiding water. So yeah, you have travel by direct road, which will lead you through potentially right, dark the map? areas. It's on the screen, <laughs> Grab or the it's map also to the side. Oh, the map. Grab the map. Um, um, or you can go off road. Right. I think they already see it. No, but yeah, but <laughs> it, it's, it's probably better resolution on. No, the, no, I know, but it's framed. And I don't know what it is. They've seen it. I know, but I can see. Framed and shit. So, um, so where are we going? By from? road, what Free cities or places will we go through? Virtue, that's it. That's and going all the bramble marshes. Mm-hmm. So towards bramble marshes. Going by road, yeah. You will travel along the coast down towards Bandit's Rest. Right. You will head up from Bandit's Rest to the bramble yeah. marshes. Sure. Across to June Send, and then up towards the Lost Mines. Would of you not just Karak. go from the bramble marshes? The Lost Mines of Korea. By road. Oh, by road. Okay, sorry. There's no road. There's no road. <coughs> Otherwise, if you go off road, you basically make a beeline straight from Freeport across to the Lost Mines. Yep. I'm um, cutting near to the la- other side of the lake um, next to Virtue. <coughs> I'm going through a bit of forest and then around the other side of the marshes if, uh, straight to Korea. Oh, look, I'm happy going along the road. We have a cart that uh, probably survives better on the road. Yeah, and not in the middle of the desert. Granted, Bandit's Rest is, as Rook would know, not necessarily the nicest or safest of places. That's fine. If we go off-road, can the cart handle it? Uh, is it an off-road cart? I don't think it is. It can <laughs> support it, but yeah. there will be Penalty. certain times where travel will become slower to compensate for the cart potentially getting stuck or needing to be find a slightly wider path to like get through is the forest is the off road option the shorter option it's the most direct I reckon we just take the road yeah the road. I'm, I'm not afraid of bandits race okay that's a road mystery <laughs> check what do I know of bandits race <laughs> <laughs> nothing <laughs> what was your role hey. five uh, as I don't have, do you remember that off the top of your head? Uh, well, a bit of five, I can I can just give him a generic description. Yeah. It is pretty much a den of um, bandits, pirates, and I'm not afraid. Who's <laughs> not afraid, okay. Who's doing illegal things, just, just Insert think Insert description of Tatooine here. Okay, yes. I'm not afraid, let's just go. If we're lucky, we'll meet a Han. You have never, <laughs> you have never walked into... No, if we're lucky, we don't get robbed when we walk the, in there. <laughs> Never before have you walked into a greater... We can just pass by, yeah. by like, around it, we don't yeah. have to go in. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. So you start heading along the coast? Yeah, that's yes. Next in the morning. morning. Yep. Yeah. In the morning, everybody's in the car. Yeah. You're heading by the coast. So, uh, who is driving the car? Kevin is the one proficient in I land vehicle. Kevin land is, vehicle. is the car uh, driving who, man. Who is sitting beside him... Um, perceiving the lay of the land. I'll, I'll sit, I'll sit uh, shotgun with my bow. The rest of yes, you are sitting in the back, sit conversing gun. as you what? see fit. Well, it's not a shotgun, um, is it? Ink is Shoots further going than through shotgun. stacks yeah. of paperwork <laughs> and constantly turning next to himself, muttering away and then turning back and carrying on with what he's doing. I ask him why, who he's muttering to. You know who. No, and he carries on. That's why. I okay. Asked. Anyway, I'll. Uh, My servant for you. Oh, right. <coughs> Can I roll perception to be aware while we're traveling yep. and also to see if I hear anyone mutter back to Ink? So you can roll an advantage or. Both you and Kev can roll, and you can see who does best. That's Wait, what are we doing? But I, I so know, gen- general perceiving. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll roll with advantage. Yeah. Just, yeah, roll with advantage. 
Oops. Uh, 20. Dirty 20. A dirty 20. Um, you don't hear any responses mm-hmm. from him. Um, you don't really notice anything of note. Um, probably about an hour, hour and a half in. Um, Freeport is Gone. just over the back of the hill. We can't really see it anymore. That's fine. Um, you are approached or in the distance you see a small child running towards you uh, I pull out my spyglass to get a clearer look at it does it look like a child is running towards us hurt or in distress he or just on the road playing clearly in distress he appears to be crying shoot him and <laughs> Yeah, no, well, I don't know what it is. Okay, so I, 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 I tell Rook, uh, there's a kid who looks like he or she. They. It's a he. How far away? You don't uh, know that. Am I can ask? Yeah, no, probably. Uh, oh. You don't know it's a he. I, I know. Did I looked? Probably did you ask him? To a it, like I did ask him. No, them. I. The child. I continue heading there and then stop when we meet the kid. Yep. Yeah. A uh, small boy runs up. He seems to be incredibly panicked. Um, his clothes are pretty tattered. Um, clearly been crying a lot um, and is struggling to breathe at the moment. You're the leader, <laughs> aren't you? I don't know anything about kids. I go, What's wrong, kid? <laughs> <laughs> My sister, she's been bitten. Help. What? A wolf? Snake. It's what? poisonous. Snake. Poisonous snake. Oh, that right. my sister. Quick help. She's gonna die. Where? Uh, inside. Yeah. Lying kid. Yeah. 13. <laughs> uh, my insight is pitiful, so no. Uh, he appears to be telling the truth. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Murder hobo child. I shot back to the back of our wagon. Sixteen. <laughs> and say, team, look alive. There, there's a kid here who might need our help. Is he a murder hobo? That's for you to find out. Okay, kid, are you a murder hobo? My sister, she's been bitten by a snake. Please help! Please help! She's two hours away. I've ran and seen nobody until I saw you. Quick! Two she's hours dying. away. The temptation to murder the child. <laughs> <laughs> I feel is quite strong. Uh, um, is the child carrying anything? Yeah, of value. So What's we the biggest can object rob in the, the room? child. What? We're not You're in the room. Car. We're on the open road. The biggest object would be a barrel. Would of be water. Rook. Yes. Rook would be the water biggest. Water would be the biggest of uh, uh, the. Crate, the crates are heavy. I would assume. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Look, a barrel. it's my hand. A barrel. Of the biggest object. Okay. Yes. Hey. The biggest solid. Well, since it's yeah. Damal would like yeah. to crouch and hide behind the barrel. <laughs> in the cart. Yeah. Yes. Okay. The tiny cart. And she travels in it. Okay. okay. You travel sure. in um, a barrel of water. Oh, wait, I got, do any of here actually have anything for poison? I don't. I don't. Damal. Oh, she's wait, a poison wait, expert. Can I ask? We've seen her making poisons. Maybe she can make an antidote. Describe the snake. Oh, yeah, it's probable. Snake. Uh, he describes a snake that you would know, and it is a venomous snake. Um, it does have the amount of, uh, fully grown, it is yeah. large enough and poisonous enough that it could take down a child. Okay. Um, you, oh, with child. your background, would know that it is quite treatable um, if oh, way too early. Would someone die in two hours? There is a strong chance that they would die. Damal has knowledge of poisons, and she wonders if the group might like to ask her. But she's hidden, we cannot see her right now. Yes. And then Rook realizes something. Mm. Isn't Damal traveling with a cage containing a raven and a rat? Do they not make noise when Damal tries to hide? They're just sitting on the cart. Oh, they're like, they're, she them. can't just like shove them <laughs> under a <her> cart. <laughs> she's just yeah. like, like, it's a full no, but raven. Well, like, it's, it's like a cage like this oh okay so like it's there like somewhere that. she's not carrying them with her no they're on the cart. so they can sit on top of the barrels or something yeah Jamal is in her hiding place thinking about her animals okay well can I ask um where are your parents what's that got to do my sister's dying man 
But are you gonna help or not? <laughs> not until you tell us where your parents <laughs> are. Where are the hemp parents? And how do you survive? I think the you're... same way most people do. Okay, well, okay, I how old is this kid? Wait, wait, who can yeah, actually help the kid? kid? Like seven? Well, I think these two can. Okay. Um, I go. Okay, All kid, get in. We'll go find your sister. You give us directions. Meanwhile, I, I signal to these two. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, you're in the back of Kata, you look after the <laughs> And the direction he wants to take you is off the path. Um, and no, 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 fuck that. To- <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that. It will go to a point where um, the car. Ah, the shipment with the subscription four months in a row. Yee yeah, boy. Yeah. Oh. Um, Sick. Do you wish to follow on foot or uh, fly or something? Uh, it's no, it's no. two hours by kid speed. No. So you assume you can travel faster okay, wait, than kid stop. speed. So it goes up to a certain point of the road, yep. and then at a certain point we have to get off. Yeah, so after about person. like 10, 15 minutes. Well, How oh, close are we to the nearest um, human settlement? Or are we still closer to Ages Freeport? away. I just so want to... We're like an hour wait, 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 wait. away from uh, Freeport. I just want to remind everyone. Yes. That the first stop on our journey is Bandit Street. That's why I wanted to find out how close we are to Bandit Street. You're weeks away. Yeah. Oh, okay. Still, Murder Hobo (laughs) King. Come this way into the forest (laughs) where my sister is. With these two's understanding of poisons, would they be able to create an antidote as we get to that point where we would have to get off the car? Why didn't you? You would have to get out of the car to go with the kids to get the rest of the way. No, but could they create an antidote to the thing that he knows about and that she knows about? Okay. Okay, so we'll take the car to that point, right? If the two of you don't mind, you could try making antidote for the kid. Do you actually I asked the group, why are we helping this kid? Because mm-hmm. his sister's dying? Like, my sister's dying, man. If you're no not going to help, kid. somebody okay, else. Okay, yeah, yeah, like, I don't talking mind. out loud on a car. Yeah, of course I he's going to hear. I don't mind helping a kid. Like, it's a kid. And then I look at Ink. Ink? <laughs> Ink probably doesn't care. What do you say? He's reading his papers. Are we assuming Deval's still hidden, or has she come out of hiding? Uh, uh, you, so it's up to you, because we are... She's hidden and trying to make antidote. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How do you make antidote? Yeah, you actually need stuff. She's oh no, I've got a bag of tricks for that. I'm a poisoner. You don't... Okay, sure. Give me a roll. What are you doing? What? We are... Yeah, give me a roll. Sight. The reason why I didn't say anything before is because you didn't glean anything new. With hey! Your, with your 16. What? Where's my other dice? Anyway... <laughs> Uh, are we helping this kid? You've got three six. Well, okay. The only people who can help are these two. Yeah. So, so it's, really, it's really up to them. Yeah. <laughs> I rest my case with my lawyer. <laughs> I say it is the right thing to do to help the kid, but obviously, if it's a trap, then go full on murder hobo. I mean, it's time to murder. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> I'll see you. That's itching. <laughs> who's gonna Who's gonna watch the car? I've got this itch. I just need to scratch it. My my sword is dry. <laughs> It hungers. It hungers. <laughs> I remember a sword blood. that hungered for blood. You did, you did have times. a sword that hungered for blood. <laughs> good times. Then you I removed the curse it. and I sold sword, I think. Well, I kept it somewhere. You kept it. It's yeah. a scimitar sitting yeah, somewhere. It's sitting somewhere. Way, okay. So. so we're okay with helping this kid? Yeah, I'm okay helping Who's the kid. Who's looking after the car? I'll stay on the car. At that point? Okay, so we get to the point yeah. where we have to get off the car. Yeah. And then we ask who's going to look after the car. I can stay here. Ink will stay. So Ink will stay. Um... Aisha's offered to stay. I have tiny little le- legs. That I'm doesn't staying. answer the question. Okay. Oh, think we are at, where is wait, no, there could be murder hobo status. You go have the See, that's the thing. So you Val have a choice now. Off. Oh, I, can, I can carry you. What? Yes. Huh? You How are you using you can, poison to help a child? Can, you, uh, her, you, sorry, the antidote. You can you can go with the kid. Can a poison kid? So Mal wanders me. off with I the kid. I thought that was a healer's yeah. kid. Healers can use is used to make anti poison, not a poisonous. I have a bag of tricks. I said that earlier. A bag of tricks is a magic specific we'll, we'll, magic item that makes we'll, little animals. We'll, it's fine. We'll, I've got we'll, healers. We'll, okay. we'll, we'll deal yeah. with that when we get to it. I agree. Okay, so the three of us follow so the so kid. You're, so you're splitting the party. Yes. Apparently, we are splitting the party because we don't want to lose our valuable cart with clothes on it. Okay. And food and water. Okay. But yeah. mostly the clothes. Um. So you head off towards. Yeah, I go with them. Okay, or you okay. Start, so it's ink and Aisha on the cart. Yeah, with the and raven and the rat. With the raven and the rat, and yeah. that's it. Yeah. And everybody else is going to follow the child. 
Can sure. I say... Hey, are, you oh. lo- are you locking this in? Yeah. Why are you going to say oh, Oliver? Uh, Can I Demel... say to the kid, if I find out you're lying, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. <laughs> Jamal quickly remembers Intimidation she left rat. Jamal quickly remembers she left a rat in the cart and goes back to grab it before she heads off. Okay. okay How so does he you react? Got, you've got your pet Well, right. you have yeah. to go Intimidation in, in, Because if we were 20, he'd be like super scared of you. One. Fuck! Well, he's not scared of you, he's just he laughs at you. He, does he walk up and kick him in the ball? <laughs> like, like, you're a little bitch. <laughs> okay, anyway, I'll, 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 wow. I'll sit on the cart, watching the direction where they uh, head off into whatever, the woods, plane. So you're, so you're specifically watching the I'll, direction I'm, they're going? Well, I want, in case, where are they actually walking into? They're yeah, walking. where are we going? So, you've got to a part in the, like, going off the, the road. Path. Yeah. yeah. You've got to a part where it's like a marshy part where you would assume the cart would sink and that's oh. why you're not taking it any further. Yeah. Oh, wait, You're going wait. through that and Hang the on. other side of that is the forest. How big is the cart? Normal cart size. Like 10 feet wide. Hang on. Think of it, carts are like larger than cars. Like, like mm-hmm. I understand. One it's like a truck. Yeah. Like and a, we've got a, a nice like fancy tiny truck. Car. Yeah. Imagine, imagine a very large pickup truck, but made out of wood and pulled by horses. Okay, so can I have... Um, okay, anyway, to answer your question before yep. we were distracted, I, I'm still going to keep an eye out to, like, 360 in case you... But I want to put a little bit of extra focus to where these guys have gone, just in case there are either bandits hiding around or just wild animals that might go behind them. Perception. Um, the rest of you just can I have wait, a survival wait, wait, check? Wait, hang on, just wait, 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 just, 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 just chill, chill for a second. Can I finish my roll? Because this is something we need to... I was going to cast Tiny Hut around the cart. Fuck, I don't care. It uh, wouldn't 22. Fit. It wouldn't fit. It wouldn't fit? No. Okay. This is 22? I mean. Okay. Yeah. I'll get back to that in a second. Oh, I'm going to cast a survival? Roll a survival. Roll a survival. Roll a survival. So it's so, a four first. So... Pick, Following a kid pick, into the marsh. Pick who's leading to roll the survival checks. Uh, you, you can't roll my purple dice. Who is the best survivalist? <laughs> Oliver, is it you? Yes, I think so. You may roll the survival no. check. Okay. <laughs> um, does he get to roll an advantage since we're all assisting? If, yeah. He yeah. can roll an advantage. Okay. So roll two. And I'll, I'll do guidance as well. Oh, I might as well, yeah. In the bag. You can't roll the 19. Bag. Or you just talking about wanting it, right? I want 19. 19. I don't know that bag. Plus four, twenty-three, plus seven, thirty. Thirty. Thirty? Yeah. Uh, you definitely find the way. It probably takes you so about forty-five can't. minutes to get mm, there. I guess so. Yeah, much better. <laughs> takes you about forty-five minutes following the kid's direction to get to a sister. Twenty-two. Okay, can I ask the kid? Oh, um, can you describe what this place looks like where your sister got bitten? Where is she? You, you're being taken to that space. Oh, it's going to okay. take about forty-five minutes. Ask the kid what the name is. Uh, his name, Murder Hobo yeah. Jr. If it's Murder yeah. Hobo Jr. <laughs> or like something, uh, the son of the Bandit King, then obviously I'll stab him. His name, <laughs> Murder Hobo Jr. <laughs> King of the Bandits, <laughs> is Kirk. And what's his sister's name? Stimadez. Stim Stimadez. Kirk what? How do you spell that? S T I M A D A Z. I roll a history on his name. And his sister? His sister is... Can I ask what country that's from or what dialect? Uh, Stimidaz. Beatrix Stimidaz. Beatrix. It is from the dialect of random name generator. <laughs> for, <laughs> for, for generic character I have created. Therefore, May Demal pronounce slavic. it however the heck she wishes. You can pronounce anything how you want. Fantastic. Um, can I roll a history on that name? Yep. Fifteen. Just the last. Fifteen? Uh, nothing. Alright. Um, are we perceptioning to see whether we are getting ambushed? (laughs) So we are there, right? Well, you're, right? Oh, you're we always there, going to be looking out, right? Because we're suspicious of the kid to begin with. Yeah. Whilst this conversation, Damal is looking at her so rat, thinking about maybe she might like to oh have God. it do things mm-hmm. for her. So I'm weird, rolling right? through on yeah. a 17 perception. I've holding this for a while. And walking yeah. through. Uh, you <laughs> don't like notice anything nothing. besides normal mm-hmm. wildlife in a... Yeah. Yeah. Um, about... Go for metal dice. Dear on, yeah. and about... Uh, sorry. Aisha, about half an hour in... 
um, you see something in the distance. What do I see? Other side. <coughs> um, you see some figures coming <laughs> down the path. Of course we do. Of uh, course walks. we Murder do. Murder fucking hold I pull out my oh, spyglass to get a better view of him. The male perceives what this going on. No, you don't. Um, with what you see, you're, you're, in a not you're, a diff- you're in a different place. You're in a completely different place. Um, you see a cart um, that has two people sitting on the front being pulled by three horses um, and it is like a big covered like American style so uh, so an actual wagon yeah wagon sure yeah you see that coming um, okay Um, not not directly towards you but towards you yeah on the road sure and where we get pulled over to the side yeah okay well about five minutes off the road yeah well I'll just uh, yeah I'll I'll stand on the front seat just uh, just so the drivers can see that I I know their presence, but I'm not gonna signal them to come my way or anything. I'm just gonna watch them pass by. Okay. Um, you get to the little girl. Mm-hmm. Um, she's she, a murder. Who's going to have a look at her and see how severe the bite is? The poison uh, expert. Do I see where the mouth is? Yes. Because she's walking she's beside you. Walking. Okay. And do you want to check her out, or should I? You may do what you like. Okay. So I walk up to the little girl. First I ask her, what's your name? She did. Be- Beatrix. Hey, what's your brother's name? <laughs> Whatever I said, I can't remember. Ah, oh. liar. <laughs> <laughs> I immediately stabbed them both. <laughs> Square in the face. What did I say? Oh, Kirk. God. Kirk. There you go. What's a snake's name? Snake's <laughs> <laughs> name? I'm dying. The final crux. What does the fox say? What does the fox no, say? No, please don't. No. Oh God. <laughs> and then I ask her, "What are your parents?" Our parents are dead. Cool. Um, just, she is coughing up blood at this point. All right, I'll start treating her. <coughs> uh, okay, give me a uh, medicine check. There's a medicine what? check. It's yeah. a medicine check. Wow. There's a wisdom. That's cool. I don't. Oh yeah, plus three. The uh, guidance also walks myself. over and checks out the kids. Guidance. Okay, give me a d20 tomorrow. Seven fifteen. Thirteen F- plus the captain. Uh, you get a fifteen. Um, <clears throat> with your combined checks, uh, you are able to determine that she is very near death. Um, if you don't act soon, she will die in the next five minutes or so. Yeah. So I'm now out her... Whoa, 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 just PG. <laughs> so now whips out her right. bag of tricks. <laughs> what, no, what is this bag of tricks? Yeah. It is whatever Demal needs it to be. In, no. In this, context, in this context, it is her poisoner's bag, her uh, anti-poisoner's bag, which is inside that, obviously, because it's poison and... Therefore, it's, poison. It's not an item. Uh, it's not, sorry, yeah. she's got knowledge of poison and has just made that item in the cart. Yeah. I made give, that give, item. give me a roll. Yeah. I have a particular number that Twelve I'm looking plus. for. Um, is Oliver assisting you or are you rolling separately? Because what role is this? As in, do you want to give her advantage? But what role is this? This is whether the kids are getting hit. It's for this is it's for made, made up, what, made up uh, bullshit kind of role. Yeah, yeah, this is a shenanigans. This is, it's, this it's is a made up bullshit it's, it's, shenanigans role. No, no, no it's, it it's a straight do twenty role. Yeah. Oh. oh. That I am adding secret things to that I don't want to tell you what they are. I'll give Which her is what I said. So roll it again. What's that? Two. The well, two. She's taking the first one. Um, she dies. Yes. The small child dies in your arms. Oh. Um, um, pats her head quietly and lays her on the ground. The brother mm. is bawling his eyes out mm. and um, blaming you guys for not helping him. Demel you spent too much time arguing <coughs> when you could have been saving my sister. Demel feels empathy for the child and says, We are very sorry. We did not mean to cause this to occur to you. Yeah. Uh, give me a uh, persuasion. Yeah. And Demel. Demel. Yes, you, you're yes. the one to guidance her. Demel wonders if perhaps her thoughts about her party has led her to have more persuasion recently. Nope. No. <laughs> Roll your dice. I give her guidance. Uh, roll, a D4. Four. roll a d4 as well. So you add the d4 to it. I go, yeah, listen to her. 
One. Giving you a total of 16. Sure. Um, is it 16 plus? No, no plus zero. Oh. The small child pulls out a dagger and runs towards you. Oh. Kill him! <laughs> Red stars who? Demal? Demal looks at him with pity. And it slits his throat. <laughs> and then he cuts him like a pig. Sure. <laughs> Fucking slices him in twain. She does that. Give Ooh. me an attack roll. Doesn't that break the contract? No, no. because. The no, DM no, no, no. just said it was okay. I didn't say it was okay. I just no. said that was what okay. Well, there's DM. <laughs> that's that's fine. That's I've fine. done that. You could do that. Ink's I wrote a four. Ink's not there. You wrote a four. Mm. You miss. Uh, your four does miss. He ducks underneath you, <coughs> um, and also misses you in his tearing, crying state. Demel, um, can I intervene? Wait, now? Hang on. Does, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's combat now. It's it's initiative. Initiative rolls, please. Oh my god, we're fighting a child voice. Yes. <laughs> yeah. A seven year old. Kevin, uh, yeah, I know. Contain, it's fine. Contain. Remember, Real in this team. thing, when you're Real doing choices. a killing blow, you can say I'm not yeah. killing the person. So it's fine. It's not. Like, if I smash the kid to negative 10,000, <laughs> he's. I don't uh, have to do kill I get, him. There, there is That's a point in which. Yeah, it's in the first one. damage. damage. Okay. No, no, it's, it's not only because this, yeah, initiative. But, but when you swing at somebody and do 150 I guess. damage. That's like but 17 <laughs> times their 16. life total. It is considered fatal regardless. Uh, 16. 8, 16? 17. <laughs> okay. And what'd you roll? For your I initiative. Haven't. I shall now. 8. I okay. also roll 8. Yep. So, highest on the roll was? Okay, well, that's probably me. Rook. In this one, Thai players usually decide among themselves who wants to go first. Uh, yeah. Oh, I do. don't think she's tied though, she might be No, no these two have eight. Both no, have, no uh, but she's got a uh, character sheet bonus. Oh, plus he needs to be added his. Oh, oh, plus yeah. zero. Yeah. She's definitely higher in decks. Um, am I smacking the kid? No. Am I... <laughs> I'm the, I, I, oh, I can't tell you what I was going to say. I'm going to do something God. that will render him not... I can spank the kid. Okay, here we go. You're gonna spank the child that just lost his sister because you guys were incompetent. Yes, but I have something to do. Okay. After spanking him. Yep. <laughs> Give me a roll. <coughs> so. What's gonna do to him? I'm hitting him or attempting to hit him with my long sword. Yep. Non lethally. On well, the, the thing is, it you don't need to decide uh, that. Is if you're taking him down, you can go non lethal. Yeah. But there is a reason. Ooh. So that is a twenty-four. Yep. Does that hit him? Uh, let me check. Wow. No, that, that, that hits a well. seven year old. <laughs> I'm going to expend one superiority die yep. to use a disarming attack. Yep. Uh, superiority die. Okay, so I've added this to the damage roll. Uh, how does it work? Seven. Where is it? Uh, this is from Rook Battle Master. Yeah, wow. <laughs> how do you get a natural plus 12? Jeez. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry, this is the wrong guy. Hmm? Sorry. I've got dumb uh, bonuses, 17. Okay, so the total damage is 18. Yep. First of all, does that kill him? Uh, more than once. <laughs> I choose to make that non-lethal okay. to knock him out. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter, but... So you just, like, yeah. butt him in the head instead. Yeah, because if that takes him out, he doesn't need to make a saving throw to drop his dagger. Yeah, no, he's... Okay. he's so he's knocked out. Yeah. yeah. So I disarm him and I kick his dagger away. Yeah. I pick up the small child as unconscious. You're not the there. Dead. I am there. Yeah, he's there. Oh, okay. What do you do with a small child that's laying next to his dead sister? Just leave potentially him. snakes. <laughs> Feel kind of bad now. Wait, combat's finished, right? <laughs> yeah. Wow, well, I think so. Much unless so. there are hidden bandits who're gonna attack us. Are we out of combat? For the moment. Is there an orphanage we can Cut help scene. Him? Uh, Back to Aisha and the cart. The cart is now almost at the point where if it was to turn off the path, and hit, it would be heading straight towards you. Is, oh. is the wagon going to do that? It appears to be veering off the path. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll just stand uh, on guard with a bow, my bow up, but not in a threatening way. Not in a threatening way, just in a readied way. Yeah. Well, we can't take him with us. Okay. No, exactly. Yeah. This is the point. Um, can I have a perception check? 
Ooh, rolled that one. Uh, the cat seems to be moving unnaturally. Wait, what? I, oh, no, I, actually, one. I actually noticed something. We describe an unnatural movement. Or did you? With a net one. With a net one, yeah. or ah. did you notice Well, okay, assuming uh, I, I look at it suspiciously. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Uh, do the drivers look suspicious now that they're getting close? They seem to be having a conversation with each other. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's about all you know. Okay, I'll wait for them to get close enough and see if they interact first. Uh, they can't veers back onto the path and carries on down the path. Okay. Um, and it appears to be a different shape. What? What? Describe the shape. It's less rotund than it used to be. Rotund? So... Less round. Less round, okay. So, like, that could just be, like, one of the shades of the covering loose and it's flapping in the wind. Sure. Um, are they past us now? They're oh. heading past you. Okay, so they pass me and they think it's driving away. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm not gonna act anymore on that. There's just a passing car. Okay. Rest of the group. The child is unconscious on the ground. <sighs> Sister, dead in front of you. Oh well, time to go back to the car. <laughs> I no. pick up the dagger. Is it a nice looking dagger? I look at it, I'm like, pretty rusty. Uh, I pick up the dagger. I no, I picked it up. No, you just threw it away. Oh, okay. You're yeah, stuck it into the child's hand. I, I pick up the dagger. Um, I tie up the child. <laughs> you tie up the child? I tie up the child. Okay. Jesus. I start burying the dead sister. I tell the rest of them, you can either help me or go back to the car. No. I will be along soonish. <laughs> Have you decided what you're going to do? No, you're gonna not bury yet. the child with the sister? I say, you may go back to the cart if you do not wish to see what happens next. Demal, I leave that up to you, Urbeg. Man, I just want to see what Rook's going to do. I'm sitting here. Demal sit takes over yeah. and buries the child, deciding her work is done, trots off after the owner of the tiny hut. Okay. What? No, I'm He's staying. He's still there. Trots oh. behind him, whatever. Okay, I'm so everyone's still there. What's Oliver sorry. doing? Uh, I guess I'll help. Okay, okay. so everybody's digging the hole? Well, yeah, except Obey. No, Obe. I'm Obe. just watching. He's watching, but you dig the hole. Yep. You bury the, the, the sister. Yep. Put a little grave marker there. Say some kind words. Yep. Apologize for not being able to save her. Yep. Wake the other child up. Yep, he's awake. He's, Is he still he's angry? tied he's, up. He's angry and screaming at you. Okay, so I, I pick you up by his, like, scruff. Scruff of his neck. Yeah, scruff yep. his neck. I say, you don't want to lose your life here today, just like your sister did. I will give you back your knife and there is but one choice left in your to make the best out of your life. From now on you must swear eternal vengeance against snakes. <laughs> Me, he's hey, you guys move and the snakes. No, I say it was the snake who took your sister's life. We merely got here too late. Perhaps the snakes and your short legs that took two hours to get to us. You have only that to blame, but mostly the snakes. Persuasion? Yes. I put guidance on Kevin. Kind of yeah, listen. Oh, to you give me guidance? Okay. And <laughs> 16. Uh, the kid spits in your face. Oh. I did wrong. Oh, okay. I, I say, then that is your choice. Since you do not wish to heed my words of wisdom, you may stay here and grieve till you are ready to head back to civilization. And then I tell him, I will give you some food, some water. Food what's that way? Don't go to bandits rest. Go to free port. <laughs> and then bandits were like weeks away. Yeah, well I'm just telling him don't go the other way. And then I say, I bid you good luck and may your quest or may you decide to eventually avenge yourself on snakes. I think he wants to kill you guys now. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have a knife, so whatever. Oh no, I've given him his knife. Didn't you make him decide? Oh yeah, actually I picked him up because he's like, yeah. But I I leave his knife like stabbed into the tree, deep enough so that he would have to take time to actually uh, pull it out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. And then I ask the kid, are you going to follow us? Uh, He just scowls at you and doesn't say anything. So I say, let there not be two tragedies here. Go find that snake and avenge your sister. (laughs) And then, like, with that, I kind of just walk off back to the cart. Like, yeah, without fuck. looking back, just like... Yeah, it's fucked that one up yeah. royally. <laughs> but so, so... What? 
We're just walking back now. Yeah. All right. Mm. I know you were expecting me to murder Did you. Did you untie the kid? I was gonna murder the kid. Oh no, I just... Huh? Oh what? yeah, yeah, I untie him. I said, I'll untie him, give him a bit of water, give him a bit of food, enough to reach wherever. His Pretty kid hard. doesn't eat much. Okay, that's fine. Yep. Yeah. Yep, you get back to the cart. Okay. Uh, the cart is empty. What? I'm not kidding. What? <laughs> 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 Why did I show <laughs> off <Robert's laughs> <laughs> fear? What is this? <laughs> there is no cart. Okay. What? <laughs> Wait, there is a no. There is a cop. There is a cop. There, there is people okay. in it. Oh no, wow! Nothing. That you know, it, that you just, know of this. Just, just this, this, the, in breaking news, Eras five six seven four mm-hmm. is watching. Who's that? Where they are? It is nine a.m. Sure. Okay. Okay. They so are you in somewhere. Italy. Italy. Ah, sweet. Cool. Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> That's awesome. Hi. Oh, thanks for waking up early. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> you're back at the cart? Yep. I address the rest of the group. I tell them, tragedy has struck. We are not very good healers. We yeah. shall have to do better next time. Okay, you guys, you guys, <laughs> fr- you guys fuck it up. You yeah, know. I tell them, like, you know, the, the kid died because they weren't able... Oh, we weren't able the to boy. save her. You killed the boy? No, no, the boy tried to attack us. I just knocked him out and then gave him a choice. To get on with his life, or, or not. not. I gave him food, gave him water, gave him back his knife, sort of. And that is the end. We will hopefully we'll never see this kid again. Somehow I'm not surprised. <laughs> okay, whatever. Let's get going. Uh, you've wasted half the day. Oh. Uh, What's like oh. an hour and a half that way, and you're an hour half out of town, and you just around the world bearing the Sure. And we continue <laughs> on. <laughs> Can we fast forward to the next biggest town? Uh, you can fast forward a week worth of travel. Yeah, let's um, eat some food. Nothing overly dramatic happens in that period of time. Mm-hmm. Uh, <coughs> can I have those that are uh, leading the car give me rolls, please? Seven, so, what type of rolls? Perception. Perception. Oh, guidance. 23. Both of you. Can you guide us two people? Uh, one at a time. Oh, is it one at a time? Yeah, it's a concentration spell. Kevin, okay. next. Sure. I that got, is. I got 15. 21. Um. <laughs> the kid's dead sister can't spend it. Come on. Um, <laughs> yeah, we have to, then we, we had this ray following us for the last week. <laughs> you've, Why you've, do you fuck up? <laughs> um, you're traveling along um, and settling down. You've, you've had a hard day's travel. You're setting up camp for the night. Yep. Um, and those that are on watch at this particular point in time as you are sitting up camp mm-hmm. um, notice that there is um, a melody of music coming down the road um, and it appears to be a group of travelling gypsies Gypsy? Mm, gypsies, Rook no like gypsies Why? <laughs> they, they rob and steal That's racist Yes, Rook is also racist <laughs> Towards gypsies They're not pikeys And snakes He's <laughs> a very judgmental character <laughs> Well, see, that's his eccentricities mm. Yeah <laughs> um, They come towards your campsite And ask if they can sit and drink with you I look at them, are they dirty? Night. <laughs> Wait, what? What? what I, I do an answer. I'm asking a DM. Are okay. they dirty? Like, they dirty? give me a specific perception as to Ooh. the level of dirt. Dirt. Okay. So, to see whether they're dirty. Uh, Add your cleanliness bonus. <laughs> <laughs> Thirteen. With your hygiene so bonus, um, you, your would, hygiene? you would assume that they are no dirtier than yourselves. I want you to do an yeah. inside check. Does this? Just to look at the body language of them. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. How many like of the, them yeah. are their arms? Stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do they it, look like the honest folk that uh, travel through the roads, or are these gypsies, uh, bandits disguised as gypsies? I also asked Urbank. Uh, twenty. Yes. Thirty. Uh, they are <laughs> definitely gypsies. 
they are not bandits. Um, they appear to be very happy and jovial and are willing to share their um, alcohol and merriment with you. I guess, I guess they sure, why not? Brooke, what were you going I was going to ask, the quality of their music, would you judge them to be skilled music players, musicians? Well, Give me well, a roll. What type of role in my role? Probably performance. Performance, I guess. Oh, right. <laughs> performance that judge uh, judging the... <laughs> judging. Judging performance role. Give, give me a roll of racism. Roll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that one. Uh, you don't haven't heard this type of music before. Um, you cannot place judgment upon it, as they appear to be amazing. You can't <laughs> work out how it makes sense, but it makes sense. I, I just say, um, are these girl gypsies? Their music's amazing. It's a, are they girl it's gypsies? A family of gypsies. <laughs> it's, it's a group of gypsies, and yes, there are girls. Uh, they are quite curvaceous um, and appear to be showing a reasonable amount of cleavage. Oh! Okay, I guess so. Uh, sure. Uh, Come sit by the fire. <clears throat> okay. So wait, how many of them were there? About ten. About ten. How many are fighting capability? Uh, with your insight. That yes, you're going to I actually me? have a thing. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop. There's a thing. Yeah, a specific, uh, a specific so fighter thing where I study yeah, he's them. Yeah, it's called a warrior. I uh, know your enemy. Yeah. So yeah. I, it's pretty much I just stare at them and tell, uh, I can tell. Um, How are you staring at them? Are you just looking at them and eyeballing yeah, them? Yeah, it's kind of like. Or are you, you, no, no, you like? Well, I'm not purposely stare. like staring. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If he's going by the, by what the description yeah. says, he can spend a minute to analyze one yeah. opponent. And then he can ask one specific question, and then there's a list of like, is he stronger than is me? Is he stronger than me? I can also is ask he, like, why? Does he have more fighter levels? Fighter than levels, me? greater or lower than Does me? he have more decks than me? Is he tougher than me? More decks than you? But he actually he asked one of those questions. Yep. But the thing is, I can keep doing this every minute now. Yeah. So yes. until the DF says stop, about, I ask all after, the questions. After about five or ten minutes, yeah. you would assume that there's about three or four that are stronger than you. Yep. Whoa. Um, there's probably two or three that are more dexterous than you. Yes. Because you're not very dexterous. Uh, how many more? Of, how many of them drink more than me? <laughs> you don't know. In comparison, comparison, to, in comparison, it's, in comparison to it's always in comparison to me, and it's not a question. Um, no, but in terms of uh, fighter levels, is it fighter levels or it's character? Levels? Ask for fighter levels. I think there's one that asks for character levels. Yeah, there's a character levels higher or lower than me. Some or higher, some lower. Okay, some are higher and some are lower. I don't like this. I also don't like this. They, they, <laughs> this is an open world where people can be higher than you. I, yes, they can. You, you are not my, the ultimate supreme being. But in we should be. This universe. <laughs> my uh, insight said that these were honest folk. Was that right? Yep. Yeah. I say, just come have a drink. Right. I trust. I trust judgment. Uh, one of the older ladies, um, wearing lots of like tacky ass jewelry. Mm. Um, looks you directly in the eyes and says you sir you have a brave future would you like a reading <laughs> a what future and pulls out a some brave and a starts, brave future as i said and brave. Starts rubbing, brave brave starts, future starts rubbing some cards in her hand brave she is wishing to do a tarot card reading i wish to roll an insight roll to see if she's trying to bluff me or trick me out of something yeah the total is 13. 13? You yes. do not know either way. So I do not know either way. Do you wish to mm. agree to the tarot reading? Or <laughs> then not? I go, do me, do me! Wait, <laughs> what? She's looking at him. I tell her, uno momento. And then I go to her bank. Keep an eye on everyone. I don't trust these dirty gypsies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I I'm like the racist pillars. <laughs> really <laughs> quietly, I just say, I don't, I don't trust can I these you, guys. Can I have you roll yes. stealth I'm, check? I'm like this. Oh. Stealth oh. check. Oh, okay, okay. Damn it. Stealth check. He's gonna hear it. Stealth check. <laughs> oh, there it is. Damn. <laughs> um, okay. Can sure. I <laughs> <laughs> sure. Okay. Yep. That's okay. why don't have to tell me anything. But that's okay. what I kind of tried to whisper to yep. Urbank. Uh -huh. Urbank, do everyone with that. I was halfway through a drink, so I'm like, <sighs> oh yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, I have not drunk anything. I say, lady, I will accept your tarot reading. Mm -hmm. You may begin. <laughs> <laughs> um, she takes you aside 
and sets up like a little tablecloth and pulls out these cards and rubs them on the table and then sure. takes your hands in her hands and places them on top of the cards. Mm-hmm. Um, after several minutes of like chanting and like rubbing your hands across the cards and like stroking you uncomfortably awkwardly. Yeah, am I dirty now? You said that as clean as you were. <laughs> Yes, um, but if two equally dirty things and one rubs that dirt on the other, then this one becomes more dirty and so it goes less. <laughs> um, you feel... Um, Is that true? No, it's not. I can prove it. <laughs> I will dirty my hands and rub it on you. You'll be more dirty, I'll be less dirty. But, but it has to be equal dirty when you do it. <laughs> yes. But if it's dirt, it's like concentrated, like lower half, and his top half is not dirt. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's going to weird specifics. That's, that's weird cheating in yes. some way. Yes. Cheat uh, a lawyer. Can I have oh. you make yeah. a generic d20 roll for me, please? A generic d20 roll. 18. You didn't even roll in your dash tray. Uh, I missed you, it. But it was flat, so not You rolled at a level where you get a reading um, <coughs> that tells you some information um, sure. that I will tell you separately. Okay. Um, by the power of the internet by the power of the internet because secret squirrels are secret okay and if it's pertinent I may or may not share it with the rest yep okay um and um is it information that would shock me 930 ideally yep not knowingly Mm -hmm. but would shock you in some level like not like oh god fate of the universe we're gonna die now (laughs) the sun home prophecy was not fulfilled (laughs) can I go next um, <clears throat> and it leaves you thoughts to ponder. Okay. Um, and she looks at you when she says it in a very knowing way. Like she's staring into you, not at you. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense. Um, Through you. Seeing as you seem to be so eager and more interested in it, uh, she takes you aside. <coughs> um, she spends longer rubbing and connecting with your hands and rubbing the cards uh, can I have you make a generic d20 roll yeah. while that's happening and just for the, the sake of continuing I find the biggest guy there oh, no. I'm like <laughs> you look like you can drink I am Eddie <laughs> let's drink <laughs> <laughs> Give me a roll. Is Damal getting drunk? Damal's totally getting drunk. Okay. Just He's enjoying yep. these 13. guys getting drunk. Uh, he rolled together. a 17. Plus, plus con. Plus con. Plus con. Yeah. Con I goes. don't even know what my con is. We're having a drinking contest. Yeah. <laughs> my con is Somewhere one. Uh, 14. <laughs> you get a reading um, where she tells you that there is um, <clears throat> great fortune in your future. Um, she sees you specifically uh, gaining an item of great of, value, of great magical value, um, that is weaved in some way. Mm. Um, she can't see it because it's quite a cloudy image she's getting, uh, but there is definitely something that is made of some level of fabric. Um, that possibly floats. Okay. Um, but she can't see it quite clearly enough. Mm. Uh, so, n- next roll. He's currently drinking you under the table. Wait, wait, wait. I, I have a preposition. I'm a performer. Yeah. I drink a lot. Yeah. Can I substitute my bonus with my performance bonus? What, a constitution with performance? Uh, you can add performance to your role to make it look like you're drunker than you are. Or not as drunk. Or yeah. not as drunk as you are, depending on which way you want to play it. Currently, he is winning the contest. Here's a question. Alcohol is like a poison, right? There, are, in, so, there are side effects that are going to happen. Yeah, I'm just wondering. I am immune to all poisons. As does, a monk, yes. Does that mean I can't get drunk? No. You can be immune to the side effects, as in um, vomiting. Yeah, vomiting, but you can still attain the level of drunkness. Uh, okay. It just takes longer because your um, resistance is higher. I don't think immunity to poison kills drunkenness. So, 
classically is never like neutralized wasn't never just wrong dice. So I just I just want to say my con is plus one vision, yeah. my yeah. performance maybe. is plus one. Yeah. No, you go. There was actually your, a look at the status bonus, the which is plus plus four. This, oh, so you're well, getting well, a total yeah. of plus five. Yeah, pretty good. Nineteen. Nineteen? Uh, on the dice. On the dice? Yeah. Giving a yeah. total of? Because I only work in totals. Twenty-four. Yes. Um, you appear to even them out. Give me another roll. Ooh, shit, son. <laughs> Fourteen. Uh, he is way more sober than you are. You're starting to really feel the effects now. Can the rest of us see this contest happening? Yep. Everybody, like, all, <laughs> all of the gypsy dudes around are like... Getting into it. Yeah. Oh, bag, you're failing us. That's That's yeah. Failure after failure today. <laughs> Thirteen. Ooh, you start to sway. <laughs> you're looking rocky. <laughs> Nineteen. <laughs> He's starting to sway. <laughs> Seventeen. You hit the floor. Damn! <laughs> Demel chuckles hilariously. The gypsies all that cheer. Ah! <laughs> I also cheer. <laughs> um, several of the gypsies pass coin to other gypsies. Yep. Um, and the big one that you versed um, chuckles hardly as he picks you up off the ground and smacks you on the back and says, That was a close one, lad. <laughs> you did well. Um, Considering I'm going drink for drink with a giant gypsy, and I but you won't be an old lady. <laughs> uh, does anybody else wish to do anything with these gypsies, or will people start going to bed? I'm already asleep. <laughs> is yeah. is anybody performing a watch? Oh, I am. I'm taking first watch. I'm sleeping early, so that I take the later watches. Okay, so you're saying second or third. Hey, when you ever wake me up, whenever. Okay, which would Demal like to take? Unless she's also Demal is out. keen to join wherever she is required. The bag is gone. Demal can take the second watch. Demal shall take the second watch. Would Oliver like to take any of the watches? Do I have to? You don't have to. Fall asleep. Oliver, fall asleep. Her bag's asleep. Yeah. <laughs> Her bag's not asleep. Her bag fell over. Mm-hmm. He's awake still. <laughs> Just not really functional. His perception is now a, a, a so first negative. watch. First watch. <laughs> Give me a roll. Perception. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's quite high. You it notice everything. Twenty-four. Yep. And nothing of note happens. Uh, are the gypsies acting suspiciously? Suspiciously. Not with the roll that you rolled. They all appear to be happy and jolly and okay. playing their music and drinking their drink and all happy and merry. Okay. That'll second watch. Second watch tomorrow. <laughs> D twenty. Seventeen on the dice, plus your perception. Uh, that gives me a number that I have in front of me. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's twenty three. Cool. Um, you watch them and everything like a hawk. Mhm. Um, Demal is aware of her surroundings like never before. Yep. Everything you see and you note, and nothing of note happens. Jamal is where it is. Third watch? Uh, probably me, right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, 17. 17? Uh, nothing of note you notice either. The night passes okay. apparently without anything untoward. Right. And then at that point, in the morning, I start packing up, I say our farewells. I check all my possessions. Yep. Give me a roll. <laughs> I Investigation. Sure. It is a 23. 22. Uh, you don't notice anything missing, but you do notice something added to your positions. Ah. What has been added to my positions? I'm also checking the cart as well. Like, oh, um, food and there is a small um, woven doll uh, that looks like a little girl. Oh, Does shit. it look like a familiar dead girl? <laughs> it may or may not. <laughs> projecting like characteristics on me. <laughs> Did my investigation tell me anything? It does. Okay, so it does. Oh, that's fucking creepy. 
Why? Um, oh, does but, anybody else want to check their positions? <laughs> yeah, I'll check mine. I want oh, to check mine. Well, funny, he has oh, stuff. Canada. I'll check my stuff. Uh, this is the investigation. 17. There's nothing in yours. Yours is yeah, fine. fine. Cool. Is this an investigation? Yep. Five, six, seven. Uh, no, everything seems to add up. Okay. You didn't notice anything? I'm looking through mine for like my flask so I can have a hair of the dog moving. Give me an give me a roll. Constitution. Okay. Constitution. I start, I start waving goodbye to the gypsies as mm -hmm. we drive off. Oh no dice, come out of the bag. Oh god, why did they pack up early? Don't worry, you guys finish. Net one. Uh, you immediately fall unconscious. <laughs> He's unconscious? Yep. I take little dog and hide it in like somewhere upon uh, his position. But before you get a chance to oh, do that, <laughs> um, the big um, gypsy man uh, walks up to Urbag, mm -hmm. slaps him on both cheeks, and he regains consciousness. Oh. And he says, no, 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 lad. <laughs> Don't be scuttling this. It's not good to scull. This is a sipping only. <laughs> Us lads that can take our, take our weight and l liquid, we don't scale this. This is for special occasions only. He's so calling it's a different pussy. flask. He's calling your pussy. No, he's telling me that I found a different flask. Well, no, it's a flask that's been refilled with something else that's... No, because I've got my, my unfillable, my, em my flask that never empties. That has been filled with something else. Because that's how that flask works. works. When you pour something into it, that changes the liquid to that liquid. Holy shit. I've just got some potent ass alcohol. That could come in handy. Mm. You, you think your first one is a piss and then what is it? Yes. <laughs> then my second thing would be, if Damar actually made a good poison. Hmm. <laughs> Bottle of infinite poison. Can we pour or liquid coal? Or lava. Mm, and all lava a liquid? On the note of what will go in Urbag's bottle Maybe. next, <laughs> <laughs> we will end tonight's session. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you very much to Deshivnet uh, for resubscribing again four months in a row now. Yes. Uh, Areas five, six, and four from Italy watching. I hope to see you next week. Um, I hope that uh, it's relatively a good time, I guess where you are. Um, we're here, the, we start generally about two and a half hours before this time, so if you can come and have a look, that's fine. If not, you can watch all of the um, the replays uh, below on Twitch or through on the YouTube channel. Channel, And as always, if you like what you see and you want to support us more, uh, click donate below or follow the link to Patreon. Um, we can't actually offer you anything at the moment, but I'm sure at some stage, maybe when we have gratitude. 5 million followers, um, we might be able to do something. But we will give you call outs and we will talk to you on the stream and I will try and chat to you as much as possible and answer your questions. Epic Fortune, uh, that's this guy, um, for those who don't know. So if you see Epic Fortune t chatting in the chat asking you questions, he is asking you for direction on the game. Um, I need all the help I can get. <laughs> yes, because let's be honest, he is useless. That's true. All right. It's fucking terrible. Thanks, everyone. Um, and we will see you tomorrow night for Crank Packs next Wednesday for Will It Work Wednesday. And then back again next Thursday for more Accidental Heroes.